Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z here and today we will be doing what if Naruto was Kaguya's son and neglected. So we start off a year before Kaguya was sealed. Ishiki had returned to see Kaguya has had children but knew that Kaguya still loved him. In this one Kaguya was in a relationship with Ishiki the Otosuki king. Kaguya was forced to have children with a human as part of her mission to infiltrate the humans and turn them into chakra for the chakra fruit. Ishiki and Kaguya had spent the night. Kaguya soon realised that she would get pregnant. Now we skip to the ceiling. Kaguya was pregnant and Hagoromo and Homura wanted to let their brother be born but knew that if they did that Kaguya would be at full power instantly because of her genetics and that they wouldn't be able to stop her. They were relying on using their brother as a pawn to seal her away. What they, what they didn't know was as, as Naruto was being sealed, Naruto's chakra slipped out and flew searching for a perfect host to give birth to him. So now we time skip to Krishna finding out that she was pregnant. As Kaguya's son Chakra goes into Krishna when she was sleeping, two other sig signatures of Chakra were forming. These would be his two siblings. Kaguya's son's Chakra also started forming in her womb. Meanwhile, Kaguya's spirit was talking to Zetsu. Mother, what is this Otosuki chakra I sense? Kaguya then explained what has happened and that her, uh, her new son, Naruto, was being born and that he is Zetsu's brother. Mother, he's going to be a candidate for a Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails because Krishna, who is giving birth to him, is one of them. No, shouted Ka Kaguya. You will stop it. I don't care how, but convince the Uchiha's or that Uchiha pawn of yours to use the Shangun to manipulate the mother of my child to uh, to not have the QB sealed into him. As you wish, said Zetsu. So now we skip to the QB attack. Okay, so the third has just finished sealing the QB into Menma and Mito, both getting 50% of power and the soul. This was done by having Zetsu possess a dead Uchiha's body or any Uchiha body using the Mangiko to convince Naruto's parents that he wasn't worthy of having the power or the soul. As the seals was complete, Minato ran up to the children. He hugged Mito and Menma lovingly. When he saw Naruto, he was enraged. It's all your fault that Krishna was attacked. It's all your fault the Kyuubi attacked the village. And it's your fault that Krishna is, is in a critical condition as well as the village. It's your fault Naruto for getting captured by the masked man. And now the villagers should know about your failure, you demon. You probably summoned it. Your failure, he said. He, he said as he punched Naruto and was about to kill him but stopped. No, you need to suffer. Suffer like the village and Krishna did, said Minato, blaming poor Naruto for what was his and Krishna's failure. Krishna has also looked at Naruto with disdain and fear. He had horns so Krishna feared that he was a demon as well. He, he, he's a demon, she said. Meanwhile, Kaguya's spirit was coming to look at her son for the first time and she was enraged by what she saw. She saw Naruto's human father, Minato, punch her baby and was about to try to kill him but couldn't because she was just a spirit. She released his key which was stopping Minato from killing Naruto which was the reason why he stopped in the first place. She comes up to her son and says, Sorry my son, I won't be able to protect you for your first few years. Your first few years will be hell for you but persevere and we shall be together. And then she touched Naruto. Something amazing happened. Uh, his left eye flashed red with, with nine tumori in it and his other eye was blue with a flower pattern in it. She was shocked. The child just had the two most powerful dojutsu, the Rinisharigon and the uh, Tensigon. She quickly put a genjutsu on him while Minato's back was turned. This was done so that nobody can find out that Naruto had dojutsus in case he uh, activated it by accident. Naruto, my boy, you are the most powerful Otosuki to exist. Your true mother will always love you. Please know that. As she touched him once again and a kanji for love appeared on his skin, her spirit then made the spirit clone and entered Naruto's mind scoop. As Krishna was about to try and kill Naruto, a chakra barrier appeared blocking it. Naruto then flashes blue as Menma and Sasuke, uh, Sasuke started flashing blue. In the mindscape, they saw Indra and Ashura being absorbed into the blue light and fading away. Kaguya then said, Hagurumi, my failure of a son. Naruto will be the one that decides the fate of this world, not you or your dirty, spawny, traitorous son. As she was thinking about how she would destroy the Namikaze and the leaf when she was revived. With Hagoromo, my son, I sense your soul has been destroyed. Their powers have also been absorbed, but I'm too weak to leave this cage right now, he said worriedly, thinking about the prophecy he made wouldn't come true and that peace would never be obtained. 
with Black Zetsu. Black Zetsu glared hatefully at Minato and Krishna. I can't wait till my brother gets his revenge. Marked by words, Minato and Krishna, you will regret messing with my family. We shall raise you like the insects you are. We are Otosukis and you are just Namikazes and Uzumakis. You are nothing. As he made a white Zetsu clone and had it watch over Naruto, protecting him from any ninjas that would try to attack him. As he transferred all the ninjutsu he knew to Kaguya so that she could teach Naruto in his mindscape when the time came. So before we continue on, Kaguya is still in the moon but she made a special clone that is connected to her brain, a spirit clone is used to communicate and can't be destroyed unless the user wills it to. But the cost of this is it has literally no physical traits, it cannot attack or anything like that. This jutsu was used for communication by the Otosukis and it also transfer any memories and can gain any memories without needing to dispel from the user and from the target. It's created by halving the spiritual part of the chakra instead of halving both chakras which creates the shadow clone and then putting it in a willing host. Okay, so now we're going to time skip a few years. Naruto is in a dark room of the basement. He was sleeping on the floor. His parents said demons don't deserve beds in luxury. There was dust everywhere. There were spiders and rats, but Naruto didn't mind. Though he liked animals, he liked them more than humans. He thought humans were evil because of the way they treated him. He, looked, he got up and looked outside to see his siblings training with his family. They were happy. He was quite jealous. Even Jiraiya and Tsunade was helping them. Jiraiya and Tsunade also hated him. Naruto then started to ask himself why why is life this bad why why does everyone call him a demon what did he do why everyone hates him for something he hasn't done krishna saw him looking and got angry and came in and yelled why are you looking at my children demon you put a curse on them no mum, i didn't he said what did you call me you demon don't ever call me mum again she said whipping him with his chuck with her chakra chains go out for a walk i can't stand you she yelled yeah, yes mum. He said as he left, Minato then joined her and, and asked, has the demon left yet? Yes, she said proudly, like it was something to be proud of. Minato's walking outside, he was getting glares, look it's a demon, I heard that he summoned the QB on us. Oh no, I heard he had a demon soul in him from the fourth Akage. Minato and Krishna, in order to keep the twins safe, lied that Nato had the soul while their siblings had the chakra. The villagers then started to chase him and they then started to beat him. After the beating, Naruto went to the graveyard to look at the third Hokage's gravestone. The third was someone Naruto looked up to as a hero. He read that the third wanted peace, Naruto also wanted peace. The cause of war was chakra because, because he read of a time where chakra wasn't a thing and wars rarely happened. His goal was to strip off chakra of the whole world and keep it in his family who would keep the humans in check. Little did he know that. The moon shined brightly when he thought that. After staying there for a bit, he saw a man staring at the memorial of Obito Uchiha and Sakuma Hatake. The man was in an ambu mask and he saw Naruto and his eyes softened. The man recognized the boy as Naruto and walked up, walked up to him and said, Hi there, I'm Kakashi, who are you? Who, who are you? said Naruto. I just told you I'm Kakashi Hatate, who are you? I'm, I'm Naruto, not wanting to give his last name as it brought back bad memories and his parents still like being associated with him. I, I see you're looking at the third. Yeah, he was my inspiration, he always wanted peace, said Naruto in a more confident tone. He was a, he was amazing kid, go, f go for it, go and be like him. I, I got good kid, said Kakashi. A, dark f a figure in the dark was staring at them. And then he turned to Hiruzen's grave. Naruto then looked up at him and said, Hi. This man was Orochimaru. Orochimaru turned around and was intrigued and said, Hello. What do you want, little kid? Said Orochimaru. Uh, Why do you look like a snake, he asked. That's just the way I am. Uh, do you get hit by the villagers as well? No, said Orochimaru. Why? Uh, they call me a demon and they beat me. I think it's because of the horn and whiskers I have. Orochimaru then responded a bit disgusted with the village for making a kid think that we no that's not the reason why this also confirmed that he was right to use the villagers for experiments that would torture a little kid rich man this one isn't good or bad he's neutral well he's going to become bad well in in the future but right now he's okay Naruto then went off to ask rich man what the meaning of life was a rich man responds with life has no meaning it's all it all ends with death but my goal is to transcend the limit of life and live forever as he leaves Naruto was walking home as he was confronted by villagers. Hey demon, get ready for tomorrow, it's the 10th of October, you know what that means, said the villager. 
Saikoti. Nato was scared. He was always beaten by the villagers on his birthday. The next day, Nato was beaten by Krishna Minotaur and then thrown out the house so that the villagers can have their fun. Now we're going to time skip a week. Jiraiya came to Minato and told him that he vis visited the toads and he told him about a prophecy that their children will be a saviour and that he doesn't think that Nato would amount to anything. He doesn't have any power and he's just a demon. Minato and Krishna agreed and they were cheering that the two angels would save the world. What they didn't know was that prophecy was out of date. It was destroyed by Kagya. Kagya then made it so that Nato would choose the fate of the world. As Nato was walking with after being kicked out of the house, he looked at the bruises, he was asking why, why why was he always in pain, why were others happy while he wasn't. Meanwhile, inside his mind, Kagia was fuming, she was enraged, she couldn't protect him yet until they established the link. She barely managed to save him when Krishna attacked him as a baby. She managed, managed to get a barrier out, but that was because she recently went into his body. He, she needs to create a link so that she can start to use his chakra to protect him. Time skip a few months. Throughout the months, Nata's life has been hell. He was beaten by Minato, Krishna, Jaya, Snadi and the villagers. And he was also tortured by them. Time skip a few years. The beatings continued, but now Nata was in the academy. More like he was forced to be in the academy. Part of Jaya's plan to make his siblings look good and feel good while making Nato feel bad. Nato was mentally and physically bullied by Menma, Mito and the whole class. Nito was one of the worst ones. She was saved by Menma so she hates Nato. She also acts like a spoiled bitch. Nato was walking to the third Hokage's head. He thought that life is meaningless if he's not immortal but even if he was immortal he doesn't want to live a life like this forever. And he jumps off the head. He saw the ground getting closer and closer. As he fell to the ground, he, he felt his bones break. He felt the, his blood leave him. A blue glow then embraced him. Then Kakashi seeing Naruto fall, ran up and grabbed him. They then body flicked to the hospital. The doctors refused to treat Naruto, but Kakashi used the shine gun to scare them into doing it. But they also felt a huge kinetic coming from the moon. They stared into the moon as they performed treatment on it. Kakashi then appeared to the Namikaze house and pulled Minato and Krishna aside and explained to them what was happening but was shocked to see them angry. He thought that they cared about Naruto but no this was not the fact. Why did you save him Kakashi? asked Minato. If he wants to die then let the demon die. At least you will leave us alone said Krishna. Kakashi looked disappointed. He wasn't so di disappointed when Rin died. He was livid at them. As Kakashi then body flickered away he was now disgusted by all Namikazes. Now we go to Naruto, he was floating on a blue river. As it ended, he was on a beautiful land of ice, like the one in the thumbnail. It felt perfect here. He then did something he's never done before. He let out a small smile. As he was embraced by something, he felt safe and protected. She had horns like him. She was pale and she was smiling at him. But her eyes were puffy, puffy red. She was crying. She then started to cry again. Don't ever do that again, she said. Don't ever kill yourself, Naruto, she said. Naruto was shocked. This was the first time anybody has ever shown any kind of concern for him. Naruto then nodded his head. Who are you? I'm Kagya Otosuki, your real mother and the goddess of all chakra. You are my son and the son of the goddess of chakra, she said. My mother, but that's the evil woman Krishna and my father's the monster Minato Namikaze. Unfortunately for me, said Naruto. No, she yelled, causing Naruto to back away a bit in fear. Your father is Ishiki and I'm your mother. Look at us, we have the, the horns. Well, at least I do. Ishiki isn't here right now. So you're a demon as well? asked Naruto feeling a bit safe that there was another demon. Kagya then frowned. The village had broken him to the point where he thinks he's a demon. No silly, she said. We're divine beings. We're both gods. Like I said before, you're a full god while I'm a goddess. Really? Or oh, why do they call me a demon then? He asked. Because humans call anyone who is strong in them names like beasts, demon, monsters. Even a tale of beasts who aren't even demons are compared to being demons. They even call beasts. Nato was amazed. This was so true. He thought. Nata then said, if you're my mother, then how is Krishna and Minato in my family? Kagyo then explained what had happened. So I'm not related to those evil people, said Nato. Yeah. She nodded. Nata let out a sigh of relief. She then said, let it all out. Let all your emotions free as Nato cried, repeating what the village just said, saying stuff like demon and that shit. Kagyo was fooling, said, don't worry, my son, I'm here for you. She then grazed his cheek with her thumb and removed the tears. Don't you feel better now, she asked. 
do you know why they hate me? Said Natu. Yes, Minato and Krishna think you're a demon because of the horns and the fact that you were taken by hostage which led to Krishna failing to keep the nine tails in her. In fact, the whole nine tails attack was her fault, not yours. The villagers hate you because Minato and Krishna lied to keep your siblings safe and they also think you're a demon because you have horns, whisker marks and you have the QB soul sealed inside of you which they think but isn't true. Not fair is it being betrayed by your family. I was also betrayed by your half-brothers, Kagya said, as she explained how Hagaroma and Hamura betrayed her and how they dis distributed her chakra to the humans and ruined the balance. So my so my own half-brothers, they, they killed me and they used me as a pawn to seal my mother while she was weak and having me, said Nato, sad and angered. It's all human, they were part humans, so they had greed, they wanted to make themselves look like gods by giving weaklings some power. And that's the reason why you couldn't live happy. That's the reason I can't live happy, said Naruto, shouting angrily. Yes, yes my son, said Kage sad. I have a plan to take back our chakra. You could easily do it with your eyes, but if you do that, you won't be able to have me with you. There are two ways, either use your special eyes to place the world in a never-ending genjutsu and then turn them into a chakra fruit, which you will eat, or we could do it together when you revive me by collecting the tailed beasts. Nato then said, I have a dojutsu. No, you have two, said Kaguya. The strongest of them all, the Rinishagan and the Tensigon. Mother. I want you, I want you, I'd pick reviving you and then we could do the plan together. The zero is chakra plan complete, I want my mother, he said. If that's your choice then fine, said Kaguya. Once we take back chakra, peace will return, there will be no more wars, because humans will be powerless and if they do anything like start a war, we can easily stop them. We will basically be authority that will stop humans from being evil, she said. Yes, I agree, said Nato. We could protect the peace and my children, when they are born, they can also inherit chakra and they can stop the evil that humans have. After us, we could create a new legacy, said Nato. Kagya smiled. Unlike her other failures of sons, Nato was intelligent and was like her. Nato, give me my hand and we shall create a link so that I can talk to you and protect you, said Kagya. And Nato gave her her his hand. Outside Nato's body, his he began to transform. He's gone paler. His body started to get muscular. His eyes flashed red and blue. His left eye turned red and had nine tamari in it. And his eye turned blue and had a flower pattern in it. His chakra levels rose so high that no one could sense them. He had unlocked God Chakra or the Otosuki Chakra. As all injuries were healed, and his, body's, and his body had a blue barrier around it. This was permanent. He was permanently protected by a barrier. Kagya then started to train Nato and gave him all of the Jutsu Zetsu had gave her. He also got Marja's memory from which he did image training. Nato used his mind create, mindscape to create the scenarios that Marja was in and train. By the end of the training, Nato was in Madras level in skill and knowledge, but lacked real life experience and physical training. Meanwhile, on the outside, only Kakashi had visited Nato. He changed Nato's bed sheets and helped him by covering the costs of the medical bill. Kagya inside of Nato was watching this and smiled. She hoped that Nato would be adopted by Kakashi because Nato really did need a father, and Otosukis don't really have fathers, they normally have their wives go to different planets and have other men raise them. Kakashi went to Minato and had Minato sign adoption papers after a bit. Minato, Minato seen this as a perfect way to get rid of Naruto signed it, but told him that he would need Naruto's signature as well. In Naruto's head, Kagya had informed him about what Kakashi had done and Naruto thought that Kakashi was his hero, which Kagya also thought. 
Karagi girl also thought that she, he would make a perfect dad to raise him. It was common for Otosukis to get dads from other planets to raise them as pure-blooded males are normally out gaining power while the mothers will be forced to raise them by themselves or having a second husband that they do not have any physical contact with raise their children. Kage knew that Naruto needed a father's love because he lacked one in the real life and he was abused by one that he thought that was his father. He really does love you Naruto, he does but he was raised differently talking about Ishiki when Naruto asked about Ishiki, his father. In our planet, we normally send little children off to fight for wars. They normally get parents which they protect, which are two human beings and then the rest are killed off in planets so that the humans can restart, so that the Otsuki's adopted parents can basically recreate the human race while uh, while the others are killed off and used for uh, chakra fruits for our people. Naruto is amazed. He, his, his race could get powerful just by eating other humans. Naruto wasn't disgusted by this because his Otosuki half, well, his, well now his Otosuki f uh, blood, which was uh, pure, made it so that he wasn't disgusted by eating humans. It had been a year since Naruto was in coma. He had just woken up and was taken to Minato and told that Naruto, Naruto was being adopted by Kakashi and if he wanted it, he should sign the papers. Naruto then signed the papers and was told to pick out a name, a second name as, as he needed to replace Krishna's name as Kakashi has replaced his name. Naruto then picked Otsuki as no one knew that name. Naruto then said, my name will be Naruto Otsuki Hatake as my full name. When Naruto was surprised that Naruto didn't fight his fight to get his or Krishna's name before it was a random name and just gave it to him. Now, get the hell out, demon. Kakashi, break your demon of a son, leave me. Uh, Minato yelled. Minato was given a month to get used to walking and that stuff before he had to re-enter the academy. So, Kakashi trained him. Minato was low journey level physically, but he acted like he was a uh, high high tuning and he was um, mentally and and te in technique wise and strategically at the level of Madra Uchiha. In the months, Onato was in a coma, Black Zetsu also popped in Nato's mindscape and asked Nato and Kage if they should eliminate the Uchiha's and Nato had ordered the full massacre of the Uchiha clan to get back at the police force and uh, who would be, uh, beat him for no reason and his bully Sasuke who would always bully him. While Minato only ordered ordered the massacre of the people in the coupe to be killed, uh, Naruto had man, had Zetsu manipulate Obito to kill all but Sasuke. He wanted Sasuke to suffer. He also had Zetsu take all the Shang guns, which resulted in M Minato banishing Itachi, thinking that he did it all for the Shang guns. And when Obito took all of the Shang guns, he also made an offer to. Itachi to join the Akatsuki, which Itachi accepted thinking he was betrayed by the village. Danzo was then enraged. He lost all the Shang guns. Naruto also asked Kakashi if they could get a house on the outskirts of the village because he didn't like being near it because everybody would just glare at him. Kakashi for the safety of Naruto agreed. So now we see Naruto chilling in, in his and Kakashi's house. Kakashi was telling him so stories about his missions. Naruto liked it. He then asked Naruto what was the best way to get a girl's heart. Naruto then said, I don't know. Kakashi said just Chidori them thinking about Rin. Naruto looked at Kakashi as he was a psychopath. Kakashi then tells him he has a mission and leaves. Naruto then has a flashback. Kage telling him about Black Zetsu and how he needs to meet, meet him so that he would explain the plan of how they will free her. Naruto then used his newfound flight technique to leave and go to Zetsu. Naruto landed with a flip and he was met by Zetsu who told him to come in. Zetsu followed him. Zetsu then explained to Naruto the whole plan about how he manipulated the Madra and Hashira on fight, how he manipulated Indra and Hashira and how he changed up the Uchiha tablet to make to suit uh, his personal needs. How do I get into Akatsuki? Naruto asked. Obita's my pawn, I could easily get you into Akatsuki, but now is not the time. Now you need to get back to the village and build up some trust. You will be catching a Jinchuriki soon, said Zetsu as Naruto flew back home. Alright guys, this is the end of part one. I know that 
I did start a bit because that was because I was tired so yeah and I hope you enjoyed this video this is going to be a, a really dark what if like literally Naruto is going to hit every human soon yeah well apart from Kakashi because yeah Kakashi is the guy in it um, I hope you like and subscribe and peace don't forget to comment down what you want and yeah uh, right now I'm going to do Naruto what ifs next one I'm thinking about doing a what if Nafumi was the reincarnation of Madra Uchiha yo what's up guys it's your boy Annie Z here with part 2 to what if Naruto was neglected and Kage's son so we start off at the academy Iruka was getting the class ready for the exams then suddenly the door flies open and they saw Naruto sorry I got lost on the road of life said Naruto Iruka was mad how dare you come late Naruto on graduation day as well I swear if you're late for the final exam next period I'm going to fail you he said Memma then came up to Naruto and said, Who do you think you are standing in the way of the next Hokage? Go back to your coma or commit suicide. Nobody wants you. The whole class started to laugh as Mito then said some shit to Naruto but Naruto just teleported to the back of the class thinking about how he's going to torture all the Leaf citizens. Ruku then said, It's time for the graduation test as he called everybody up. For Kanai throwing, Naruto got 10 out of 10. Memma, Mito and Sasuke all got 9 out of 10. Now it's time for Taijutsu with Mizuki. Whoever gets the highest time will be placed the highest, unless you knock him out, which in that case you get a plus 10 minutes to your school. Sasuke got 3 minutes, Memmeta got 4 minutes, and now Naruto shouted Iruka. It's the loser's turn, said Memma. Hmm, you say something? said Naruto, passing by in Memma, pissing him off. As Naruto then knocks Mizuki out within 30 seconds. Plus 10 minutes for Naruto as Naruto's final score was 10 minutes and 30 seconds. He has broken the record that Minato Namikaze and Itachi Uchiha has set of 5 minutes. So now we move on to the final test, the ninjutsu test. Okay, so I'm going to summarize it, okay? Sasuke failed because he couldn't do the clone jutsu due to Mizuki spiking his drink. Because he knew Naruto wouldn't listen to him even if he managed to get him. And Mizuki was kind of scared that Naruto beat him while he was going all out to try and fail him. Memma passes barely. Mito passes with flying colors due to be training with Tsunade. Naruto passes with flying colors also because he was, well, he was a uh, uh, Otosuki. Now for the Kanichi of Year, Mito Uzumaki and the Rookie of Year, Naruto Otosuki Hatake said Iruka. Memma then yelled out, I should be Rookie of Year, not the demon. No, Memma, I'm sorry, but Naruto is the one that got first place, unfortunately. But you got second place, so don't worry. You might be second best, but you're better than a demon at least. As he and the class all glared at Naruto, who is just reading his Icha Icha Paradise. The next day, with Team 7, which is Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke, Kakashi and Naruto just arrived late to the team meeting. And then they said, oh sorry, you got lost in the path of life. As Kakashi then said, Alright you lot, meet me on the roof. As he body flickered away, Naruto doing the same thing, leaving a annoyed Sasuke and Sakura. They then gave the introductions, which was the same as canon, until it got to Naruto. My name is Hotoki Otsuki Naruto. My likes are Kakashi, the moon goddess, and a certain black and white plant. The, my dislikes are the village, Namakazi, and the two loyal Sanin, and also my two teammates. Goals are to free the sealed and bring peace to the nations, making both Sakura and Sasuke angry. Kakashi then said, don't eat, you have a test tomorrow, and left. As Naruto was about to do the same thing as well, but was stopped by Sasuke. A demon, teach me how to do the body flick, and how dare you say you hate us, the Sanin, and the Namikaze. Hmm, you say something, said Naruto, as he vanished back home. Sasuke was enraged, he punched Sakura in the, in the ugly face, leaving a happy Sakura, thinking that Sasuke was touching her. On the way home, Naruto decided to walk. Villagers tried to throw tomatoes at Naruto, but Naruto's auto defense barrier made by Kaguya appeared, protecting him. This had been a thing since Naruto linked with Kaguya when he went into coma. The villagers were pissed. Ever since the demon went into coma, they couldn't hurt him, and he became a prodigy of all of a sudden. I mean, Naruto didn't care about Naruto's abilities. He thought it was pure luck in the fact that Kakashi was training him. The next day, both Sasuke and Sakura were waiting for Naruto and Kakashi to arrive. Suddenly both of them arrive and then they both said, sorry we got lost in the path of life. Both Sasuke and Sakura were pissed off at this. Starts at Kakashi after explaining the bell test as Sasuke charged at Kakashi who just used a thousand years of pain on Sasuke which turned him and surprisingly Sakura on for some reason. And then Sasuke charged towards Sakura thinking that she would dodge but ended up cutting her ugly face leaving a permanent scar on it before putting a genjutsu on her and making her watch Sasuke's death in a many different ways in about a thousand different ways. And let's just say she couldn't sleep for the next 
few weeks. Naruto of course managed to walk up to Kakashi with his chakra nullifying all attacks and then grabbed Kakashi's book and said if you don't pass me at least and keep this. I'm sorry Naruto but right now Minato has ordered me to pass all of you guys. As he said all of you pass and Naruto you're grounded for taking my book from you. Naruto then said hmm you say something making Kakashi angry yet proud. So we skip one month which was used for D-rank missions and minor training for Sasuke and Sakura major training for Naruto who Kakashi swore to protect because he was his child. In Minato's office. Ah good you call Tora said Minato. You could go and take care of cutting the grass or taking care of the counselor's kids again. Or you could just catch Tora again as he saw Tora run away. Sasuke then punched the table. I'm a cheer elite Hokage sama. I want a real mission not these chores. I need to get power to avenge my clan. Yeah, Sasuke deserves a higher mission, said Sakura. How dare you! You are low Jennings and you're making demands from Hokage. At least a demon knows his place, said Uruka. Now, now, Uruka, kids will be kids, said Minato. Well, apart from Naruto, he thought. Who, Minato sends a discreet glare towards Naruto, which was returned full force, scaring the little pussy. Hmm, Kakashi, do you think they're ready? Lord Hokage, I think they're more than ready, said Kakashi, catching Naruto's puppy dog eye look. The one thing he can't deny it was his son's puppy dog eyes. If that's the case, then bring him in. You shall be joined by Ebisu in escorting uh, this world over here, said uh, Minato. Sasuke there was, was happy he saw his private sensei. Kazuna then came in. These are my protection. A gay duck butt who looks like he cuts himself regularly and a pink haired gorilla that thinks she looks good. Please tell me the horned and the white head mask ninjas are included as well. Yes, yes we are said Kakashi's eye smiling which is mirrored by Naruto. Sakura and Sasuke were pissed. How dare you make fun of me or how dare you make fun of my Sasuke they fought in unison. Okay you can leave but Naruto stay back I need to talk to you said Minato. Right, demon, you best not screw this up. This mission is important for your record and the record of our village. Hmm, you say something? Said Naruto as he body flickered away, pissing off both Minato. And then Krishna came in and said, that boy has no respect, does he? What do you expect from a demon? I'm happy he's not a son anymore. Imagine all the pain we had to go through to change his behaviour, stupid demon. As Minato then agreed. In the moon, the original Kagea, hearing this was angry, soon Namikaze's I shall end you in the most painful way possible as she thought that Minato and Krishna, Mito and Memma all felt scared for some reason. At the gate, Sasuke Sakura and Ebisu was waiting there with Tazna. Suddenly Kakashi and Naruto arrived two hours late. Sorry, we're, we're late. We got lost on the road of life. And also there was a grandma that needed help because her kitten got stuck in the tree so we helped them. Naruto, Naruto was laughing internally at giving this horrible excuse. The team was annoyed but Naruto was glared at by everybody apart from Kakashi and Tazna who thought it was funny. Ebisu then goes to Sasuke and Sakura and says, I'm here on secret orders. If Naruto tries to leave, we kill him. He's still a descendant of the prestigious clans of Konoha, Uzumaki and Namikaze. The leaf can't have him repopulating elsewhere. Then I hope he leaves said Sakura, wanting to kill Naruto who always shows off as Sasuke as the team then set off. Naruto noticed the paddle but it hadn't rained for a long time so he looked at Kakashi who gave him a sign to keep it a secret. Naruto noticed that both Ebisu somehow and Kakashi noticed it as well. So Naruto prepared his katana. Suddenly Kakashi and Ebisu were dead or they, at least they looked like it was dead. Naruto saw the logs but to Sakura and Sasuke they thought it was dead or they were dead. The two tuning then charged at Naruto. Both Sasuke and Sakura noticed this but stayed out not wanting to help the demon hoping that he would get slayed. Suddenly they were about to attack Naruto but then Naruto's barrier appeared shielding him from the two tunings. Naruto then sliced both their heads off and sealed them in a scroll. When Kakashi and Ebisu came, Ebisu went to see if the others were alright while Kakashi checked on his son and congratulated him. Ebisu then said, you should have at least kept one of them alive for information. Hmm, you say something said Naruto, pissing off Ebisu. Kakashi then said, if you're going to crit critique my son then at least make sure you're right. My son was in a position where he had to get his first kill on his first mission. So you have no right to question him when I'm sure even you who got his first kill was that it was done on his second or third mission. So be quiet as he directed his killing intent towards Ebisu. Ebisu now apologized. Ebisu then apologized. Sorry demon, I mean Naruto, as Tazuna noticed this. 
and he felt sorry for Naruto. He knew Naruto wasn't well liked but for his sensei to make fun of him and to make him feel bad when he wasn't in the wrong was just evil. Also the fact that Naruto was innocent in his eyes. Naruto was thinking about how he would make Ebisu's girlfriend die in front of him and then make Ebisu suffer and Ebisu would be powerless to stop him once Kage was free as Naruto then tells Kakashi I don't really care about what the haters say I just ignore them and then Naruto tells Kakashi we should leave they continued to walk on while Sakura then said, I can't be remembered his day in Kanita. Not a hearing this meant these smirks, so his little brother had a girlfriend, I see. As then, Nato was thinking about how he would slaughter the Hyuga clan because Kuno had too much power and it would make both Nita and Menma suffer. Menma would suffer because Nita would be sad and, and he would blame her on Hinita by having her watch in a genjutsu Menma murdering her clan over and over again. He would mentally breaker he chuckled internally he always wanted revenge on Memma and especially the leaf the leaf would also be weakened by this losing a powerful asset with Kaguya in Naruto's mind her spirit clan heard what Naruto was thinking and she said laugh very good my son your plans are, will make the Hyuga suffer well take a major asset from the true demons the leaf village Hamora Hamora your descendants are wrong they chose the wrong child to date she thought with Naruto also by killing off the Hyuga the leaf will be busy under threat and trying to regain their power so they do not concentrate on me or the Akatsuki, thought Naruto. Hmm, per per perhaps should I should get a summoning. I should ask mother when the mission is over. If she knows of any legendary summonings, because as a goddess she would be owed some favours and I really do like having a powerful summon. Hmm, I also feel like meeting my dad. Ishiki. I do like uh, Kakashi but I really want to meet my real father, the king of- wait, a king? That makes me a prince. Imagine what Leaf will say when they find out I'm actually a prince, prince of gods, prince of the Otsukis, the creators of chakra. They'll probably be shitting themselves before laughing in his mind. So anyways, we need to gather all the bijis in order of tales. From what I've heard, Shukaku's Jinchuriki is a genin and should be easy to get. He also has auto defense like me, but his can be penetrated while mine, mine is impossible to penetrate. But Unlike Gara, I cannot attack with my defense, but he can. So, anyways, he should be at the Chune exams. Hmm, we could get him there. I wish I had the summoning so I can get a message towards the Kotsky telling them about my plan without raising any suspicion. I know that Ebisu guy is here to make sure that I stay in lethal, stay under control, and not kill that stupid Uchiha brat. Suddenly, Naruto senses Sasuke throwing a kunai and it hits a rabbit, which misses. And then uh, Sakura goes up to the rabbit and says, I'm sorry little rabbit, I'm sure Sasuke didn't mean it, Naruto probably forced him to. You should hate Naruto instead of Sasuke. As Kakashi then yelled duck as a sword came flying by. They all ducked apart from Naruto who, whose barrier received him. The barrier then broke the sword. Oh, so a genin managed to survive my blade, said Zabuza, impressed. Zabuza then uh, used the ninja wire to pull back the blade towards him. Kakashi of the Sharan gun and Ebisu the sister. Your heads will catch a hefty price where well, at least Kakashi's Ebisu is worth only like a C rank. Zabuza then said, I'm the demon of the mist, an S-class missing man who destroyed half of the loyalists. Kakashi then said, you're a long way from home aren't you? You see Kakashi, I'm on a mission, I need to kill that bridge builder. Give him to me and I'll spare you and your genin. Sorry but we're on a mission to protect him, said Ebisu. As he and Kakashi then clashed with Zabuza. You lot stay out of it, said Ebisu. Suddenly a water clone charges at Tazna. Naruto gets in front, his barrier activating, saving both him and Tazna. Oh, is that a bloodline? That creates a barrier around you? Or is it like soon as Jinchuriki, a sand barrier? It's a chakra barrier, you idiot, if you can't see, said Naruto. Well, in his head at least. Naruto then said out loud, Hmm, you say something? This pissed off the real Zabuza, who goes to attack Naruto as Naruto stops his sword with his chakra barrier and then pulls out another sword. And then he says, Let's see how good you are. Are you good as me? As then Naruto then says, Starburst stream and slices Zabuza, almost killing him when ice semblance hit him. Knocking out Zabuza, a mist ninja then appears, saying sorry for stealing your kill but I must take him. Not knowing that it was a fake chuckled in his head as he frees Kakashi and, uh, and the others Sasuke and Sakura free Ebisu who was badly injured. Good work Naruto, said Kakashi. Good work from everybody apart from Naruto, said Ebisu. He disobeyed orders and attacked Zabuza when he could have been killed, said Ebisu not wanting to give Naruto credit. 
Kakashi then said, Zob Z attacked K Naruto first. So if I were you, I'd shut up and stop accusing my student, Naruto Ebisu. Naruto then said, as I told you, Sensei, I don't really give a shit what these haters are saying. They're, and look at that weakening. I mean, look at him. Ebisu Sensei, he got injured while a genin held off the opponent that he was meant to be fight. Shut up, demon. Show some respect to your Sensei, said Sakura. Hmm, you say something? Sakura then charged at Naruto. His barrier popped up, protecting her, burning her skin, leaving up and leaving marks on her on the skin that were permanent. Scream pain Sakura went and, and hid behind Sasuke. Naruto, why'd you attack your teammate? said Ebisu. Kakashi then said his barrier automatically activates when someone attacks him. So it proves that Sakura was about to attack him. Also, Sakura, as punishment for attacking your teammate, you will be doing all of Naruto's chores like setting up camp, getting firewood and stuff like that for the whole mission. Do you understand? Yes said Sakura. Kakashi then said, Do you understand? Sakura, say yes, Sensei, as he activated his shotgun. Sakura then said, Yes, Sensei, as both Naruto and Kakashi laugh in their heads as they walk to Tazuna's house. At Tazuna's house, time skip to the training. All the events follow canon, but instead of Naruto yelling at Inari, imagine Sasuke yells at him because he, he, Inari said he doesn't know suffering when Sasuke knows the suffering of his dirty clan as Naruto fought. Now we see the whole team doing tree climbing. Ebisu forced Naruto to participate even though he knew it's thing. All teams should be work, work together and if your team's behind you, you should help them. Now a little bit of time skip. Now we see our chakra nature said Kakashi. Okay, so Sasuke got lightning of fire and Sakura got earth. Naruto then channeled his chakra into the paper and it showed all elements in all elemental re releases. Ebisu thinking that it was a flute gave him another one and the same thing happened again. Sasuke that bastard was jealous and Sakura was angry. Oh my Sasuke can should have that she thought. Ebisu then thought the demon used his magic to make himself more powerful and Kakashi smiled at his son's potential. Secretly though, Ebisu was jealous that this demon Genning was better than him. Ebisu then decided that he would train both Sakura and Sasuke because he didn't want to be near Naruto and neither did they. So he offered to take uh, Sakura and Sasuke while Kakashi was uh, fine with it. Both uh, Kakashi and Naruto accepted as Kakashi wanted to teach Naruto in private. He taught Naruto the Raikiri and other of his techniques like the Chidori blade and stuff like that. The encounter with Haku ha happens the same way. As as he, he was leaving, he tells Naruto that he's actually a boy. Naruto is left there thinking, this is why the world needs to be put under Genjutsu to stop the evil of humans, like these traps. These traps are just one of the examples of the evil of humans. Naruto then had laughter, he turned to see Zetsu. Ha 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 I wonder what mother would say when she finds out you're gay. I ain't gay, said Naruto angered. So, why are you here? You might get caught, said Naruto. I'm here on official Akatsuki business and we've got a new member called Tobi or Obito. Well, he's Madras alter ego, or at least Obito, the fake Madras. Have you caught any tailed beasts yet? No, but we're close to catching Shukaku. Don't worry about Shukaku, I'll take care of him in the tuning exam. You need to get into Akatsuki first. I will talk to Obito about adding you. He'll be coming to meet you soon, so get ready. Suddenly, both brothers fell a high chakra, almost as high as Nata's, and it was the same type of chakra, god chakra or otsuki chakra. At wave on the other side, a pale white girl with horns and a rinnegan then said, Hmm, this is where Ankagia's signature was located, she thought. And then she fought back to her mission, which was given to her by the king, Ishiki, who then explained that, that she needs to retrieve or assist his wife, and that he should also have a son who is her future husband, because she is the strongest of the otsuki and also the most beautifulest, as as she left for the elemental nations. Suddenly two chakra signatures appeared behind her. She turned around and she sees that the one of the chakra signatures that she was sensing belongs to a, the best looking male she's ever seen. She then blushes and says, who are you? This boy is strong, she thought. Where's Kaguya? She asked. I'm her son, Naruto, and this is her will, Zetsu, my brother. Oh, do you know where she is? Naruto then points towards the moon. There, but it's nice to introduce yourself before we continue on with the questions, said Naruto. Oh, I'm Rias, Rias Otsuki, your future wife or the head of your harem, said Rias. Mm. Okay, well, mother was sealed into the moon by her two sons who betrayed her, as he explained the whole story. Well, I was ordered to assist and help you in any way possible, so if you want to uh, revive or retreat or unseal Kaguya, then um, I will help you, she said. When she wanted, she was actually wanted to get close to um, Naruto. Okay, so both of you need to get into Akatsuki then, said Zetsu as he said, I can get both of you into Akatsuki, I can have her be your partner, said Zetsu as he went to Obito. As he appeared near Obito, he then said, Obito, I have two new recruits. Oh really, said Obito, and then Painless says, who is it? 
Have you heard of Nato Otsuki Hotke? Isn't he the fourth disowned son? Yeah. Well, it turns out the that he really hates the Leaf, the fourth, and his family, and is quite powerful. He took on Zabuza, an S rank ninja, all by himself. He also has an auto defense barrier and two dojutsus. Oh, really? We shall see about this. Good work, Zetsu Pain. Who's the other one? asked Obito, intrigued. Ryus, uh, Otsuki, his partner, or his future wife, as they both say. They've been meeting in secret and they've been uh, training in that. She also has a special version of the Rinnegan, which can't be taken like Naruto's. Her Rinnegan is gold and it is implemented into her DNA that she can like make more of Rinnegans if we wanted to just by popping an eyes into her, but the eyes wouldn't work with anybody else. But Naruto, he has two dojutsus. Oh, really? The boy has two dojutsus. Do explain. Two dojutsus Naruto has is in his um left in his right eye is the flower pattern and it's blue and in his uh, other eye is a Nantomori with rings and is a basic like a blue Sharingan combined with a Rinnegan. Zetsu then thought that the reason it was blue was because of Kage's genjutsu being so strong. Also, it's impossible to take his eyes as well. His bar is always protecting them from anybody and it's also protecting him from any harm. It also has anti-chakra so it notifies all chakra around a little bit of his body. Hmm. This is interesting, some new pawns. Zetsu, we're gonna find this Naruto and his partner. I believe that having a Uzumaki and two Dojutsus, well, three if you count um, his partner, and which will be an extra pair of raining guns, will be useful. Quite useful, said Opto. With Naruto. Naruto and Ria is sensing Zetsu shots at. Who are you? Come out now. Impressive, you, a mere genin and an unknown civilian, was able to find me, said Obto. He's good for Obto. Relax, I ain't here to fight you. I'm here with the offer, said Obto. Cool, let's speak then, said Naruto. My name is Madra Uchiha and I'm here to offer you a chance to join my organization. You are one of the people who have had a bad life and it's all because of the cycle of hatred. But my organization are going to bring peace and end the uh, hatred. We will do this by getting the tailed beasts and placing them under Genjutsu. Well, the whole world under Genjutsu, forcing them to be peaceful. Also, I will allow you to control the fate of Konoha in this Genjutsu to make their life as bad as you want or as good as you want, said Obito. Very well, we are set this offer, they both said. Well, Rias and Naruto said. Good, we will be contacting you later. Until then, don't raise suspicion. Of course, Madra sama said Naruto. Okay, oh, yes, wait till Madra betrays you, Naruto was thinking. You think you control me? You think me and Rias are your pawns? No, I'm Kage's son. Naruto then returns to Tazuna's house as Rias left to go to her base. When Naruto arrived, the others were pre prepping to eat. Ah, Naruto, nicely of you to join us, said Tsunami. Naruto nodded as he sat down. Oh, look, the demon's work. I know he should have died right, said Sasuke and Sakura. Sasuke said that because he was jealous that Naruto was more powerful than him and he really liked Menma and not Naruto. Kakashi then said, Naruto, you need to rest, okay? You've been working yourself too hard, okay? Okay, Sensei said Naruto, feeling bad that he was going to betray Kakashi soon, but he needed to ha revive his mother, that was more important. Don't worry, Dad, I'll ask Mother to spare you, thought Naruto as he went to sleep. Okay, time skip to the next day. Naruto wakes up to loud sounds and he then beats the two attackers easily. As he arrived at the bridge, he saw Sakura being herself, which is useless. Sasuke fights Haku. After Sasuke was attacked by Haku with Senbuns, one hit his private area. He did not unlock the Shangon this time around, so Naruto then sneaked attack Haku with a kunai. After that, Haku used ice mirrors, but Naruto used his wind Shangon to see Haku and kicked him, breaking his mask. Haku then saw Zabuza about to die and took the hit. After that, Zabuza, Kakashi, Ebisu and Naruto then killed Gato's men and Naruto kills Gato freeing Wave. The people of Wave came just in time to see Naruto kill Gato. They start shouting that Naruto is hero. Naruto is shot. Perhaps not all humans are bad, he thought. Well, at least the ones who don't use or aren't near people who use chakra for violence as he thought of the ninja villages. This then solidified his views on taking back chakra will bring back peace. People of Wave, you are now free, said Naruto. Go, go, live your lives as you please, as he pulled out Gato's keys and then handed it over to Tazna. This is the key to all of Gator's wealth that he stole from you. Go, go take back your belongings. All his men are dead. I killed them all, said Naruto, as Wave then cheered for him. They decided to name the bridge the Great Naruto Bridge, much to the dismay of Sakura, Sasuke and Ebisu. Kakashi was happy on the other hand. Zesu watching went like, so my little brother's a hero, I see. He was chuckling in the back of his head. On the way back, Sakura went up to Naruto and said, How dare you take credit for my Sasuke-kun's work? 
Naruto then replied with, Did you say something? Sakura then punched him, but the barrier burnt her again. Kakashi seeing this said, Sakura, you get another punishment. You'll be doing all of Naruto's chores again. Sakura tried to refuse, but then Kakashi said, Either you do this or get out of Team 7, stupid bitch. As Sakura then nodded. Also, Sasuke Sakura, now that the mission is over, you will refrain from any rude behavior towards your teammate. Any negative behavior will result in you doing D ranks for missions for the rest of your time while me and Naruto train. How dare you threaten me and Uchiha Elite, said Sasuke. Yeah, how dare you threaten Sasuke, said Sakura. As Kakashi then said, it's time for a spa and then seriously beat the living shit out of both Sasuke and Sakura. An Uchiha that can't unlock a Sharingan is a Uchiha that's a failure. Even I, a non-Uchiha, have a Sharingan, said Kakashi making fun of Sasuke. Kakashi, you're being a bit too serious over here, said Ebisu. My, mind your business, this is my team and this is my rule, said Kakashi, shutting up the Ebisu guy. This is my final warning, Sasuke Sakura. Drop the attitude or I'll drop you and take Naruto as apprentice. Yes, Sensei, they both said. Back at Konoha, Minato and Krishna was finishing debriefing Team 7. So the demon saved the village and then thought that a demon cat good. He's probably acting good for Minato. As Jirai and Sonade came in and then said, We'll be taking Menma and Mito as our apprentices. Kakashi then said, I'm also dropping Team 7 and taking Naruto as apprentice. I've got permission from the Fire Lord as he remembers stopping by and cashing a favour with, uh, with the Fire Lord. He then shows the permission slip. Minato then realising he had no choice to accept. Okay Kakashi but I, um, I urge you to not drop the other two for the demon. I ask you please uh, re reconsider dropping the last Uchiha. Think of Obito. No, Sasuke is a, a disgrace to Obito's legacy, said, said Kakashi. As Ebisu then said, I will take him as well as the guy on uh, Krishna's team, uh, Sai. Okay, said Minato, enraged that the Greek shinobi will be training the last Uchiha who was an asset to the leaf. It also says in the notice that half of the Uzumaki and Namikaze's wealth will be given to him as the as well as the Rasengan Hiroshin and the Uzumaki scene techniques. Also, it says here that Krishna's uh, parents' death were left their oldest grandson, which is Naruto, the Uzumaki land, the land of Whirlpool. So Naruto has claimed all of that. Minato is livid. Even K K Krishna never got the special seeding techniques in the Whirlpool land. Naruto, I order you to sign over your possessions now. Hmm, you say something leaving a rage Minato as Naruto teleported out. At the outskirts, Naruto then goes into his mind and says, Oh, what did you want, mother? Naruto Kaguya then says, Naruto, my little boy, I heard you wanted a summoning contract, so I was in contact with one of my um friends. I'm going to send you there right now. Okay, so before you continue, if you don't like the contract I'm about to do because it will be too OP, don't worry, a certain king of monsters will also be joining Naruto, which will make him even more OP. And yeah, if you want me to change the contract, yeah. All right, now the contract's going to be on a temporary basis, uh, as, you, as you will see. And yeah, so he could easily change con contracts. Just let me know below. But I really like this contract. As Naruto woke up, okay, no, now we continue. As Naruto woke up, he was in a beautiful mountain ridge. There were four pillars made out of rock and there was glass on the uh, floor. As he walked, he lo looked to see a white, what was a white horse with a gold ring attached to the middle of its body. What are you doing here in the Hall of Origins? He asked. My mother Kaguya Otsuki sent me here. Not to respond. So you're, so you're Kaguya's son. Kaguya's spirit then appeared. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Arceus? The god of Pokemon then smiled. Yes, it has. I presume this is the one you wanted to be our summoner, your son, and you want him to master the Pokemon Sage Mode. Yes, he might. If he manages to master the Pokemon Sage Mode, which is the strongest Sage Mode, he will also get access to Poke Power, which can be a per second power source if he ever runs out of Chuck, which is highly impossible. And with Pokemon Power, he can easily subdue, t subdue t tailed beasts like m like using uh, Mewtwo's ability to crush the minds of both the uh, Jinchuriki and the t tailed beast itself, or using the Ghost types intangible intangibility to um not get hit, or using any healing um any healing uh Pokemon moves to heal both him and his comrades. Don't forget that fully evolved Pokemon can easily match up with the four tails and the legendary can easily destroy any tailed beast, said Arceus. Wherever or Naruto, you're our summoner as you create a temporary summoning contract. For the next month, Naruto, with Arceus' permission, summoned Kakashi and they both trained in the Hall of Origin. Naruto trained in a special time chamber made by Deogya, which 100 years every day. Kakashi and Naruto then trained for a final week together in the normal world. 
Nata was at Madras level while Kakashi was at Kage level, as Arceus then gave uh, Kakashi dual man- Mangeko Sharingan and the ability to switch it off. And after thinking about it, it was sad, he didn't want to betray Kakashi, who was like a father to him. But his mother comes first. He had recently gotten his first mission from Akatsuki. They were going to attack during the leaf because it was stated that the 1, 2 and 3 tails were there. He was told that he would weaken a Jinchuriki with his partner and, and that his partner would be entering from the rain village, which was Rias. Rias was apprentice of pain. Apparently, Minato has decided to try something new this year. He decided to make so apprentices from villages can team up with anyone or any other apprentices from other villages or even from their own villages. This was because Minato wanted to promote peace but he just wanted to show off um, Memma and Mita's powers without getting in trouble for having a one, one man team. He also wanted Memma and Mita to humiliate Nato but due to Rias being Pain's apprentice, Minato has just allowed Nato and Rias to team up. It was then said that he and Rias would catch the one tail which was Gara. Toby and Pain would attack and catch the three tails and Itachi who hates Leaf thinking that Minato used him along with Kasami will take the two tails. Nato also planned for Zetsu or him to extract as much chakra from his siblings so in case they couldn't get it later on he would still have a little backup to free in Kaguya. He also had rumours that the eighth, eighth tail would be here so he made a deal with Orochimaru the chance to place a mark on Sasuke without any distractions in return, Orochimaru teaches him the Ed- Edo Tensei so he can revive Madra to attack the Eight Tails and st- extract some chakra or at least attract the- extract the whole beast from uh, Killer B. Arceus was also debriefed with the plan. Arceus who wanted to help uh, Kaguya who he saw as mother because Kaguya was like a mother to everyone agreed that the Pokemon would help no matter what. He thought about uh, he thought about how strong the Pokemon are and how their tail beasts Jinchuriki and Kage won't be able to do anything. Naruto then went on to think about Pokemon. They are strong. He had a hard time even fighting one of the legendaries. The abilities are amazing. His Sage Mood is overpowered. He can literally destroy ninjas' minds with a single foot. He can become invisible. He can become intangible. Like literally, he was like unstoppable in his in his Pokemon Sage Mood. The only downside was he can only use one one Pokemon's power. So basically, his tattoo would change into the face of the Pokemon's power he was using. His fate was Mewtwo's because first of all, him and Mewtwo got along. Mewtwo was like his uh, like his private summon, and also Mewtwo had the abilities to crush minds, which he really liked. Okay, so that, now now he arrived at the training exam registration office for apprentices. Minato then said, apprentices you are to choose a teammate you can either choose one from your own village or from any other village this is to promote peace between the nations you can turn an even ninja uh, teamed up this even ninja was a one with a powerful blood limit as his blood limit allowed him to earth bend which was basically using earth element without hand signs remember and meter teamed up two missionaries one being the daughter of the current Mizukage, or niece of the current Mizukage, Nato didn't know which one, who was also the free tailed Jinchuriki teamed up, and then Nato and Rias finally teamed up, angry with Nato, so the demon managed to find a partner. Oh well, Mena, Menma and Mito would take care of them. As they enter, both Rias and Nato release the key, scaring everyone in the waiting room. They spot Kabuto giving out information, they heard him say, and he always has a blue barrier protecting him. Nato realized this bastard was talking about him. Kabuto notices him and says, Ah, oh, Nato, we were just talking about you. These here requested information. Anyway, here's the information you requested earlier, handing uh, Nato the scroll. Uh, this was the scroll for Edu Tensei, smiling and then acting as if he wanted some more information. What can you give me about the red-haired boy over there, the son of the Kazakage? Kabuto, realizing that he had to act to not raise suspicion, uh, gave out the information uh, that you did in canon. Hey loser, you're gonna die today, said Mito. It might not be us, but you're gonna die in the forest since you're a loser. I heard from daddy that we're gonna be going into the forest of death as he needed and agreed that stupid thought. Don't worry, Nato, your death will be from the future best of Kage, said Memma. Shut up, losers. Don't talk about my partner like that, said Rias, defending the Prince of Otsuki's and her love interest. Rias, calm down. We don't need to aggravate them. I don't like talking to humans. All right, Nato, she whispered back. As the Proctolin came in and said, uh, it's time to do the first test, which was done really easily. So now we arrive at the forest of death. Nato then saw Uncle cut both. Memma and Mito with a single shuriken. How could both of them get hit by a single shuriken, said Naruto in his head, thinking how weak they were. 
Then she explained the rules as Naruto and Rias then started the exam. Naruto and Rias, along with Orochimaru who joined them because Naruto promised to help him get Sasuke, then attacked Team 7. Naruto knocked out Sakura and cut her hair till she was bald and also cut her left eye out and then took the scroll. Orochimaru managed to put the curse mark onto Sasuke while Naruto took the scroll from Sakura. Then Naruto knocked out Sasuke and Kit went up to Orochimaru and said, I complete my end of the deal, you best make sure that the jutsu work or else me and the Kotsuki will be coming for you. And also don't worry about Minato stopping you, continue the invasion, my friends from the Kotsuki will also be attacking the leaf, it will be best to weaken them now. As he and Ria then teleported, he opened the scrolls to reveal Kakashi. Naruto my boy you did the best, the record for completing the second exam was an hour, you done it in 50 minutes. As he came in he saw Minato. Due to Minato being with the Raikage and trying to work out the alliance, Minato couldn't say any bad remarks to Naruto as he would hurt Leaf's, Leaf's chances because Raikage would think that he was just rude. Minato then came up to Naruto and said, Congratulations Naruto, you're the first one here and you beat my record, he said with a f false fake smile. Naruto responded with, hmm, you say something, as he teleported back into his room, leaving a laughing Raikage and a proud Kakashi. Oh, oh, Minato, your genin are just the best. And Kakashi, I see that you've passed on your attitude to someone else. Back with Naruto, he and Rias had decided that they would kill Leaf Shinobis if they were to fight one in the preliminaries. Okay, so now we skip to the start of the preliminaries. Hey, demon, you got lucky getting here. Hmm, you say something? Rias then said, oh is that the reason why we were arrived on the first day while you arrived on the last day barely on time? I bet the Hokage is weak if his son is so weak that they had to get here on the last day. I bet you that Naruto could easily defeat the stupid Hokage. Oh no, let's not forget the son in as well because you were trained by them. Oh and that stupid poor Kushna leaving an angry Minato, Memma, Mito and Kushna and also Jirai and Tsunade. Now to the fights. Sasuke loses his fight due to not having the Sharingan. Also, with Indra destroyed, Sasuke is weak and not a prodigy in this one. Memma vs a random missed apprentice. Memma wins by using a shadow clone and he used a fart which saved him life, his life from the missed uh, shinobi. Mito vs a sound ninja. She wins by using sexy jutsu to Krishna's embarrassment. Yugito beats her teammate, the evil apprentice. Okay, so now we skip on to Rias vs Sakura. Ha ha ha. The demon's bitch. I can't wait to kill you and hurt the demon and prove my love to Sasuke Kun, said Sakura. Bitch? Me? No, you're the bitch. Here, said Rias. Renegon, Rias said, activating a golden Renegon. Shocking Tsunade, Jiraiya, Minato, Krishna, as well as the Jonin that knew about the Legend of the Sage of Six Path. They were all shocked that Nata's girlfriend has had a powerful dojutsu. Then Jiraiya then thought, we need to marry her to Minato's son Menma. Rias then said, for Nata, I'll kill you. Mocking how Sa Sakura meet her speeches about Sasuke as both Naruto and Rias then start to laugh. Sakura then charges towards Rias. Rias says Shinra Tensei as Sakura is blown back. Rias then uses Rinnegan Genjutsu to make her see Sasuke use death over and over and make it so that she was the killer. Sakura is crying. She was back to fall with it but then remembers that she needs to prove to her Sasuke Kun that she's the strongest. Earth style, a flying boulder jutsu. The boulder comes crashing towards Rias who easily dodges this and uses Shinra Tensei to, to blast the boulder straight at Sasuke destroying his lower half. Tsunade runs up and he was uh, Sasuke's lower half but apart from uh, reproductive organs knowing that they needed to get Itachi back if they wanted to have Uchiha's in the village again. Rias then uses planetary devastation or Chibok Tensei to uh, seal a Sakura. Naruto then uses his Rinnegan on everybody to make it look like Rias had killed Sakura. They needed to do this because they needed a sacrifice to resummon Madra. Naruto then orders her to use her Rinnegan to push the seal, seal uh, to Akatsuki. As the seal arrived to Akatsuki, uh, Zetsu then ties up Sakura and says, You're going to be used as a sacrifice to, to bring back mother as he starts to punch and beat her. So now we go into the next fight. Naruto v Kiba. Hey look guys, I got the demon said Kiba. Kill the demon said the rookie nine and the senses. Not Kakashi, because Kakashi, don't forget, he's a, a mentor for apprentice. So yeah, at the floor. 
world of stage by demon you're gonna pay for what you did last year and what your bitch did to sakura chan i'm going to beat you and become a hero greater than a third who cares about the third who killed himself i'm gonna be a greater hero after this I will beat you without losing my life. Naruto for the first time said something to people who hated on him. You'll pay for making fun of the third. He is a hero unlike Memma and Mito. They aren't heroes. They are damn demons. They are the one who hold the bridge. I don't know why you lot always say I'm it. And then he says Tensei gun. Activating his Tensei gun. Shocking everyone. The demon has a dojutsu. Naruto then goes into Tensei gun chakra mode and launches the Tensei gun beam at Kiba killing him and it also destroys the village leaving a whole a, a, like a line of villagers dead bodies just a proportion of my power and you're already dead oh well the stupid villagers said Naruto laughing Rias then comes and kisses Naruto Naruto then sees the losers and says hmm, look at the losers they were in fear Kakashi was also surprised he never knew Naruto had a power like this Kashi thought that Naruto was keeping this a secret so that Minato wouldn't use him as breeding stock. The rest of the matches went on canon. Now it was time to pick the matches for the third round. So the matches will be Naruto vs Mito, Rias vs Memma, Gara vs Shikamaru, Yugita vs Kira Tamari, the Free Tales. So for Minato, out of all of the participants, the only non apprentice was sh sh that, uh, that made it into the finals was Shikamaru. Okay, these are the eight participants that will participate, and all the Kages will be coming to visit as both Rias and Naruto then uh, teleported back to the base before Minato could stop and question them. So, guys, this is where we leave off on part two. Like and subscribe, and peace. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Z here with part 3 to what if Naruto was neglected and Kaguya's son. So we last left off at Naruto killing Kiba and a few villagers in the way of his Tensei gun beam. Also Sakura was killed by Rias. The fight for the next round were also announced. The fights were Naruto vs Mito, Rias vs Memma, Gara vs Shikamaru, Yugito vs Kira Terumi. So now let's continue on. Back at Konoha, Jiraiya, Minato, Sanadi and Krishna were having a private meeting. What was that power your son used Minato? It killed Ki Kiba and thousands of villagers with a single attack, Jiraiya asked. I don't know, said Minato, honestly, but why would he kill the villagers? I know that Kiba insulted him and the villagers were mean to him, but why was he so vengeful, said Minato. We need to take his eyes and see if Menma or Mito can unlock them or have them. Such power can help them achieve world peace, said Jiraiya. That's impossible, said a figure. The barrier protects him. Out came Donzo. Donzo, what is the meaning of this? You are trespassing on clan matters. I think not. A new bloodline has surfaced with not enough power to wipe out nations. Such power belongs to Kanoa. So I have called a clan meeting under Act for Bloodline Preservation. Also, that Rinnegan girl from the Rain Village, she likes Naruto, so you are hereby ordered by the Elder Consul not to interfere within the relationship. As if Naruto gets close to her, Kanoa can have the Rinnegan and this powerful new dojutsu. We want her to repopulate over here and not over there. So, yeah, you are ordered by the Consul to stand down. Menma will not even go anywhere near her. Do you understand? But the Rinnegan user can't breed with the demon. A god and demon can't have a child, said Jiraiya. Jiraiya, we both know that demon thing is a lie to protect our weapons, but now angering a man with a dojutsu that can destroy nations and a woman that has the dojutsu that created the ninja world is stupid. Also, your stupid prophecy rants end here. As much as I don't like or trust the Otsuki Hatake brat, if we lose him, Konoha will become a laughing stock. We already lost like Madra, Itachi, and if we lose Naruto, who's the son of the Hokage and has a powerful dojutsu, we will lose missions. So, your prophecy rants end here, or the council will vote to have Minato, the Namikaze clan, the Yuzumaki clan and the Sanin terminated from village decisions. And also, we will remove Minato from Hokage and vote a new one. Don't forget Minato, your 5 minutes of fame during the war is what got you the position. You're not even a hero of the village because that's Hiruzen who saved us from the Kyuubi attack. Deep down, the citizens know this. Your children aren't tr true heroes, they did nothing, they were just born. So under Act 14 of using personal reasons to hurt the village, I will have you removed. So you either stop Stop the stupid prophecy nonsense or the elders will remove you. Do you understand? Minato then nodded as Danzo left. 
Menasseh's group then realized that if they continued to support the prophecy publicly, they would lose power, which they couldn't have if they wanted the prophecy to be fulfilled. So now they did it privately. Krishna then said, Jiraiya, have you located the demon yet? No, he's gone out to train out of Kanoha. He has gone with that Rias girl. But what's more concerning is that they both have horns and have the last name Otsuki and are dating. Menasseh then says, Jiraiya, ask the toads about the Otsuki Tensigon. Also, Krishna tried to get the twins to unlock the Dojitsu. If Nata has it, as they are his siblings, they should also have it. Also check the clan archives for anything about those two topics. Finally, Sanadi, make sure the twins complete a uh, sage mode while Jiraiya is gone. Unknown to them, a black figure was watching the meeting. Huh, <laughs> so they want to use my brother's breeding stock. Huh, <laughs> they're dumb. Good luck, Zetsu for With the rookies, I can't believe the demon killed Kiba and Sakura was killed by his girlfriend. I'm scared, Mama Kun. He destroyed many people without remorse as well. Do you think that the provoking we did to him got to him? Said Hinita. Don't worry, Hina. I will protect you from the demon. He's got nothing on me, Mama said. I don't think so, said Neji. Only I could defeat the demon. It's because I was the rookie of year like him. You're second best. It's destiny. I'm better than you. Plus, I have more experience. Oh really, didn't you fail the tuning exam like me and all of us? Mr. Rookie of Year said uh, Sasuke. I'm here to warn you, Mito, forfeit. You can't beat him. Also, I may have tied with Hinata, Hinata, but that's due to her using the mark which caused her to get disqualified. She will always be the clan's failure while I will be the prodigy. She's destined to be Hanabi's bitch as the body flickered away. Hinata then he hugged Mema and said, I didn't mean to use the seal. I got scared you'll kill us before we can have kids. And now he hates me more as Mema hugs her and says, don't worry, I'll get him to forgive you. With the senseis, Kakashi, your monster of his son killed my student Kiba. How could you support a monster like him? A demon, Kunari said. It was a match. Plus he did chat shit about the third. What did you expect? Don't use my dead father to defend the actions that the demon did. He would never want Konoha Shinobi to kill another. Nati just wanted vengeance and make himself look good in front of the public, said Asuma. Guy then came in and said, My internal rival, you need to remove the need of vengeance from your son or it would diminish his flames of youth. You say something, said Kakashi as he left. At the funeral, the rookie sensei and parents were grieving over the death. Sasuke came over to Sakura's grave and cut his finger and said, I will avenge you, Sakura. Ina then came and said, I too will make sure that Rhea suffers when she's captured. Sakura's parents came and cried. Minato and Krishna goes up to the parents and apologize. I can't do anything to the Rhea's girl as she's from a different village and she was in the training exams. I also apologize for my son's behavior of not turning up to the funeral of his comrade who his girlfriend killed but even Jiraiya cannot locate him. Why would we want that monster at our daughter's funeral? Please avenge our little girl, said her father. Nata and Krishna then go over to Sumi, who ki who was Kiba's mother, and comfort her. I'm so sorry for what my son Nata did to Kiba. I didn't think he was snapping killer Genin, but he is a monster so we should have expected it. Nata, please tell me there'll be a meeting later on to discuss the demon's development and the fact that he killed my son a clan here. What is the chances that we can ex execute him for that? Next to impossible. First, because he has a bloodline which is specific to him and one that can annihilate nations. And also because the Fire Lord has papers that Kiba signs saying that his killer can't be responsible for killing him. Zetsu watching this laughed himself. Look at them. So helpless and terrified, Zetsu said in his mind. As when they left, Naruto went to Sakura and Kiba's grave and said, Somehow, I know that you'll be back. Through resurrection or some other means, I don't know this, but know this, I will always win. As he grabs a kunai and engraves into Sakura's grave, big forehead, pink head gorilla, and left. At the Kunoha council meeting, Naruto, it seems your first son has a dojitsu. We the council demand you to approve CRA for him as you are his father, Elder said. Kashi comes barging in. Kashi, what is the meaning of this? asked Jiraiya. Minato can't approve of this because he is no longer the father of Naruto. I am, and I do not approve this, says Kakashi as he teleported away. He's right, said Danzo, thinking of manipulating Kashi or Naruto. We can't order him to accept, said Minato. We can we can order him to accept. We are the council, said the Harano head. No, Kakashi has been training the last month. He is on my level or near it. We can't force him. We will discuss this after the exams when Naruto comes back, said Minato, leaving to go home with Krishna. The demon just causes trouble, doesn't he, said Krishna. Minato tidy replies, we need him now. He is an asset to the village, a greater asset than even men by Mito. Do you see the power of those eyes? It rivals the Rinnegan. Time skip a week. Jiraiya appears and says, Call a meeting, Minato. We've got trouble at the meeting. Why have you summoned us, Minato? Jiraiya wishes to speak with you. 
So I was ordered by Minato this past few weeks to find out about Naruto and what that dojutsu was and what I found out is disturbing. First of all, his dojutsu is the Tensigan. His eyes rival the Rinnegan in power. Finally, I found out that the name he's using was actually the name the Sage of Six Paths went by. Nobody but the elder summons know this so I, I don't know how Naruto knew this name but I also know that the Tensigan was the eye that his brother, the sage of Six Puffs brother, Hamura had. What? shouted Minato. You're telling me Naruto is the reincarnation of the sage's brother and that his eyes can destroy planets? Yes but not the reincarnation of Hamura, that would have been a Hyuga so he could be a descendant or something, I don't know. But it also said in Legends that the sage had the unborn brother that died but I don't know how that's possible so we can probably rule that one out. But what, what's more is that the prophecy has changed it now says the goddess's son shall unseal her and take back what belonged to their family and shall lead the world to peace there's no mention of them having a burden or he it being your son or she being your daughter but if not is the reincarnation of some relate to the siege it could be he who the prophecy is talking about and knowing Naruto, he won't care if Kanoa is on the top, which means our plan of having a peaceful world under Kanoa's rule is ruined. Minato then punched the table so hard it broke, as Jiraiya explained what the prophecy could have meant. With Naruto, Naruto and Rias were training. They were sparring when a glow took Naruto and he was in front of the beast. Hello, human. I'm no human, said Naruto. Well, hello, I've watched you and I've seen that you hate humans as much as I do. Who are you and why have you summoned me here? Asked Naruto, activating his Rinnishan gun and his tans well you see I'm Godzilla and I'm here to offer you something. You see I hate humans as much as you do and I wish to become your familiar so I can kill them or at least some of them which means you can summon me without wasting chakra just say king of monsters and I will be there. Then before Naruto can disagree or agree the monster tattoo appeared in his chest and the glow surrounded him and he's back on the training grounds. Where'd you go? asked Rias. Naruto then explained what happened. Can you believe he has forced me to be his summoner without him asking me? I was going to accept anyways but that was just rude. Over the past week Naruto had become more like a prince as Kage started to teach him to act like herself. He also changed his outfit to the one in the thumbnail but wore a new Akatsuki shirt underneath to show that he was part of Akatsuki. This was because Kage demanded he look like her son and not like some sort of rebel. He no longer uses the henge and he no longer looked like Kakashi even though he still missed Kakashi it hurt him knew, knowing that he was going to betray Kakashi the only person who ever cared about him we now see Naruto, Rias, Pain and Obito and Kisame in the council room of the Katsuki. So the plan is in the exams we will wait for Naruto to subdue Gara. When he does, Pain, Rias and Naruto will use their Shinra Tensei to destroy parts of the village causing it to go in panic. After that we know Orochimaru will take the opportunity to wage war with the sand on their side so, uh, so attacking Leaf can be easier. After that Obito will come in the three towers to wonderful extraction bases while Naruto will use his summon to fly Gara out. Then we will go and team up to catch the two tails but first we only take out the eight tails which will be our hardest battle said Zetsu. Rius then says we should expect there to be a few elites and all of the Kagis will also be there and root so I propose we use Edo Tensei to, and summon a fleet to escape. I agree but we do not have the scrolls for that said Obito as Naruto pulls out the scroll. As much as I want to agree with Rius's plan, I'm afraid I must disagree. At firstly, I don't trust the Edo Tensei. Orochimaru could have made it so that it works for him. And I also have a feeling that it won't work, said Naruto. So I got a being that can easily handle the eight tails. Also, by revealing our secrets, it will make it so that it will be harder for us to catch other bijus as the villagers will be more wary of us. Last week before the exams, Rias and Naruto trained and got closer. They slept in the same room together but didn't do anything. Rias and Naruto played with Naruto's summons. Her favourite was Mew who she thought was cute. So now we go to the day of the tune exam. Everyone was waiting for Rias and Naruto to make appearance. Can Mito and Naruto come down? As they saw um, Mito come down but Naruto wasn't there. Just when the proctor was about to disqualify them, Naruto appeared with Rias saying sorry we're late, there was traffic and everything. 
pissing off the Knoha residents. But they were also shocked to see Rias and Nata's appearance. They looked so much more pale. And when they looked into Nata's eyes, they were shocked. They saw two different dojitsus. One was a, like a shotgun with nine tamuri in it and rings, while the other had a flower pattern on it. Both t- were blue. Also, what shocked them the most was he didn't look like Akashi, but a god. A god standing before them, ready to deliver vengeance. Rias then goes up to the stands and joins Obito as he was posing as a sensei. Okay, Mito vs Nato start. Mito then uses her chakra chains to wrap Nato, but his Pokeball title changes to Gengar and then Nato becomes intangible. He then uses Firestar Great Fire and Annihilation to burn her skin. The Nato starts to heal her. What's that? asked Mito. So powerful, she felt scared. Mito activating her. Nato's chakra launched a tailed beast bomb at Nato, who then uses the Rinishan gun to absorb it. Is that all you got? The great hero of Kanoa and the daughter of the Hokage, Nato Mark. Why you? She yelled, accessing five tails out of desperation. She then tries to claw Nato. He just stands there as his barrier blocks it, but he was sent flying away due to the force. Nato's tattoo then switches to Mewtwo as he starts to hover. Then he uses Shinra Tensei and uses his Sharon Gun to place the spectators under a Genjutsu, also Mewtwo as well, basically everyone, and then starts to extract as much as the Kyubi Chakra as he could into a spare sword. After extracting about 45%, into the sword, he seals the sword into a scroll and stops using the Genjutsu. Mito then uses the last of her Kyubi Chakra and summons Gamma Bunta and Katsuri. Ha ha ha, let's see you beat me now, brother. I, as, as you can see, I have the strongest summoning. Nato then retorts by switching his title to a Groudon and cuts his finger and says, Summoning Jutsu Groudon as Groudon emerges, scaring everyone. So you have the strongest, huh? but mine's stronger, so how does that make you the strongest? I have the true strongest summonings, even dragons within there to fight it, said Nato. Groudon hearing what Nato said, What? She thinks that these insects are stronger than me? She thinks that she can match the power of a legendary Pokemon, some toads and some slugs use the orb now Sumner. As Nato pulls out the red orb and it starts to flash as Groudon starts to transform. There was a heat wave and a glow. Finally when it finished Groudon has changed to his fi- primal form. The sheer power that Groudon was unleashing caused all liquids to evaporate. The heat itself was so strong that the shinobis had to create a barrier to protect the civilians and themselves. They had to use at least, all Kages had to use at least their half of their power to create a barrier around the whole stadium. As Groudon roared and it sent the summons flying back, Katsu then charged in and Groudon punched her, fl- sending her flying back into the uh, Uchiha compound. As Bunta then grabbed his sword and went to attack Groudon as the sword just burn and Mito, Bunta and Katsu then met up and they did a collaboration attack which didn't even affect Groudon who made earth pillars erupt killing both of them. This was his precipitate blades attack. The pillar then kept absorbing the chakra out as they died. Groudon and Nato then laughed in sync and said those were the strongest summons. You couldn't even touch us as Groudon poofed back laughing at the dead summons. Mito then charges up a Rasengan and uses a mode to make multiple large Rasengans using c- clones, but Nato then accesses completed Pokemon Sage mode which gives him the ability to use all Pokemon moves apart from legendary exclusives and then uses Protect to not go flying back as Mito charged at him or the, all of the Mitos charged at him. Nato then charged up a Hyper Beam and fired it at the Ninetailed Enhanced Mito who was using her Ninetailed Chakra. This sent Mito flying and knocking out, her arms were bleeding, her legs were crushed and half of her skin was missing. Winner, Nato said uh, the proctor as the crowd was scared what they witnessed. He, they were unstoppable. This then made them think the demon has gotten so much more powerful as they were also scared for Mito's survival. Memo was scared seeing the power that the failure of a brother had. Mito, please make it for the Memo. Nato, if you killed Mito, there will be no place safe for you. The rookie nine and the rest of Konoha were booing and shouting the demon cheated as Nato teleported behind Harano who started this and started the booing and then just killed her with a Rasengan making her scream out in pain and went like ha 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 Sakura bitch look your mother's dead as Nade then went to heal her student Mito next match Menma v Rias Rias uses Sinra Tensei to send Menma flying back as she charges up her blood limit which was destruction chakra and sends it flying at Menma's ninja bag Menma losing all of his tools and realizing could do anything because 
because a bus summons were killed, he then starts to put on a nine tails chakra and he charges towards Rias. Rias then places everybody in a genjutsu and Nato comes while everybody is on a, under a genjutsu and starts to drain the nine tails chakra leaving 5% for Memma and now the sword had or 90%. Rias then proceeds to release the genjutsu and knock out Memma. Snade manages to he- completely heal Memma and Mito using a special seal that uses the QB chakra to heal the target instantly making them ready to fight. Next match Gara v Shikamaru. It ends with Shikamaru forfeiting. Next match Yuta v Kira. The match ends in a tie. Now for the finals Rias v Nato v Gara. Rias then uses Trina Tensi on Gara as Nato then smirks and appears behind Gara slashing him. My blood yells out Gara as he starts to transform into his half Shikaku form as Nato summons Arceus and Arceus uses judgment to destroy Shikaku's sand body. Gara then says no I won't let you end my existence as Nato knocks him out. But due to Arceus's judgment Gara wasn't able to be taken over by Shikaku because his soul was literally damaged beyond repair and his evil was removed. As Nato then throws Gara towards Arceus who flies off with Gara to the location that they were meant to meet, meet up. Nato what is the meaning of this? Shouted me Nato. Nato replies that I'm only doing my mission, catching the one tails. What do you mean? I never ordered this, said Minato. As Nato's shirts Genjutsu then wore off and they saw he was wearing a Akatsuki shirt and that his headband had a scratch. No, no you didn't. You didn't join Akatsuki. You're going rogue, shout, shouted Jiraiya. Do you even know their plans? Their plans, their goal, their goal is to kill your siblings. Shouted Tsunade. Hmm. No, Kakashi isn't going to get killed by the Akatsuki. And I have no siblings. At least not anymore. Fortunately for me, they died in an era long before, said Nato. As Minato was about to attack. Nato, Pain used Shinra Tensei blasting all of the Kages. Within the confusion, Obito came behind Kira and commuted her to the Free Tails extraction base. As Orishimaru then began his attack, Nato then went to the Hyuga booth which was sealed shut by him and used Shinra Tensei to kill all of the Hyugas other than Hin- Hinata and Neji who was also out. Nato, Pain, Rias, Obito then met with Itachi and Kisami who was fighting Killer B in his 8 tails form. Nato then says, King of Monsters, come out. As Godzilla appeared, taking out the eight, take out the eight tails, said uh, Nato. As the Akatsuki members then charged at Yukta while he w- was uh, occupied with Godzilla. As Itachi then uses Shusno to cut her out of the eight tails form. While Pain and Rias uses uses the ring gun to Shinra Tensei her towards Nato, who slaps on the five elemental seals and then cu- Obito comes and comes away to the two tails extraction base. Nato and Rias then go to the civilian shelters and go on the murder spree. Nato enjoyed killing his torturers but he only wanted to kill 25% of the villagers because he wanted them to suffer but he wanted uh, him them all to see that he was a true god when Kaguya came back so he left 75% of them alive and then he said isn't this what you wanted a demon as Nato then went back to the base of the Godzilla beat eight tails. Now Nato and Rius were at the one tails extraction site where Gara's body was located which Arceus had dropped off as he then dispelled. And Nato and Rius were getting ready to extract the one tails. They then started to extract it. Back in Konoha, so- Sona had joined Konoha's side seeing that the Mizukage and the Raikage had also joined them. But they also saw a Gara getting taken and saw that when he got taken, Orichima attacked with the Kotsuki. This made them think that Orichima Shikamaru double crossed them and sold them out to Akatsuki. The war ended with Sand, Kuma and Mist losing one of the Jin Churikis. They were angry at Konoha for their lack of security. Now Minato, the rookies, the senseis and the loyal Sanin along with Gara's siblings were prepping to go and attack the one tails of base to get back Gara. They knew it took a few days to extract the beast. So we're finally going off the demon traitor said Menma. Yes Menma but don't get too cocky. He beat your sister the one tails and the two tails all in the same day even though he had help for the one and two tails. Your sister is not something to be joked at. She is stronger than you right now, Minato said. Kakashi was in shock. He was depressed. Nata had betrayed him. He would protect Nata no matter what, even if it meant going rogue as well. Nata was depressed, scared and enraged. The demon had stalked her clan, leaving her and her cousin as the last survivors. Her, s- her sister and father were killed. Luckily for the people of Konoha, Neji had survived and had become here. 
she was going to be his slave and, and knew that Neji would make her concubine just to get back at her and the main branch. Alright, guards retrieval team, we will now be going to Nato. Ah, the marker placed on him, so we can now teleport to him, said Minato. With Nato and Rias. Finally, the extraction's done, said Rias, as she was now playing with Mew, her favourite Pokemon, that Nato summoned for her. Yeah, it's done, as Lucario then came in. Master, I have detected aura signatures heading to us at fast speeds. Suddenly, in a yellow flash, the, reti- the retrieval team was there. Rias then told Mew to turn invisible, which it did. Demon, surrender, you're outnumbered, said Minato. You may have the higher quantity, but we are the better quality, Nato responded. Rias, as much as I don't want to fight these hypocrites, mother wants us to beat them up, said Nato. I do not want you to beat us up. I do not want you to fight us. I want you to surrender and have punishment, said Krishna. Sorry, I wasn't talking about you. Remember you said not to call me your mother? And by the way, it's not that you're my real mother anyways. What do you mean, demon? I birthed you. Unfortunately for us, said Krishna. Fine, I shall explain. You see, in order to explain my origins, I must first tell you about the origins of chakra. You see, chakra was created when you eat the fruit of the god tree, which only Otsuki can eat and produce. That is exactly what my mother, Kagya Otsuki, did. What are these lies, Naruto? You know as well as I do, uh, and as well as we do, that Krishna is your mother and you are my biological son. Lies? I never told lies. Okay, if this was a lie, how come I have horns like Rias and I have the two most powerful dojutsus? Naruto said. So where was I? Oh yes, Kagya was eventually betrayed by my half-brothers who were half Otsuki, half human. They were known as Hamura Otsuki and his brother Hagoromo Otsuki, the sage of six paths as you know him. They thought that they can use me as a sacrifice to seal Kagyo while she was weakened while giving birth to me. It did work, but before the seal was completed, my chakra slipped out of my mother and made it way made its way into Krishna, where it restarted building a body. That's my origin. That's why I'm not your son, Krishna. Or that's why I'm not your child. And that's why I'm a god and your children are the true demons. They're the ones with the nine toes in it. Not me. That's right, Krishna. You're just a vessel. A vessel to give birth to me. That's the only good thing that you've ever done. What? No. That's got to be lies, said Jiraiya. Oh really? Tell me why I'm pale. Tell me why I have the strongest dojutsu. Tell me why I have near unlimited chakra, said Nato. Ma Pa then came out and said, so, it's true, you are his brother. That would explain the Otsuki chakra we toads have felt from you. However, what you're doing would not lead to peace, but destruction. We know what you're doing, please, reconsider. Nato then thought, hmm, <laughs> they don't know what my true goals are. My true goal is to free my mother, not world peace. World peace is after I free mother. I would destroy this whole world if it meant having mother back. Nato then said, what would you toads know? You're the followers of that traitor half god. If he never gave these evil humans chakra, then we would never be in this position. There would always be peace like it was when mother was alive, said Nato. What your mother did was no different from being a dictator, said Ma and Pa. What would you know? Unlike me, you ain't a god, and Hagroma wasn't even a full god. He had human impurities in them. He was a mortal, and mortals should be controlled. And even if Mother was a dictator, at least she kept peace intact. What had humans done with the chakra that Hagroma gave them? Nothing. Destroy. Wars. They're just evil, and they don't deserve our clan's gift, said Nato. Who are you to decide that, Nato? said Jiraiya. Who am I? I'm the son of the goddess of chakra. I am the current god of chakra. If I wanted to, I could easily take it back. Right now, my eyes are the most powerfulest eyes. Actually, it is the most powerful eyes of all eyes. And the reason I haven't taken back chakra yet is because my plans align up with Akatsuki, Nato said. So words won't reach you then, said Krishna. Words of a human is meaningless to a god, said Nato. Then I'm sorry, Nato, but we will force you to understand with the violence. Not all humans are bad. We won't let our mistakes cause the fall of the humankind. We are sorry for how we treated you, said Krishna, earning a nod of agreement from Minato. Minato then throws a kunai at at Nato and teleports towards him. Nato, before he appears, uses Shinra Tensei to blow the kunai back, sending Minato flying. Rius then takes on Team Guy, Asuma and Kurenai. Nato, my son, what about me? I'm human. Do you plan to, do you plan to enslave me as well, said Kakashi? No, Dad, I asked Mother to spare you, said Nato. This caused Minato to get jealous. Minato, Krishna, isn't this what you wanted? Me to be the villain? Me to be the demon, said Nato. No, please, Nato. We... We want you to forgive us. Please give us another chance. Please give the humans another chance. They asked in union. A chance? Do you know 
before I learnt about my true heritage, how much I begged the villagers you, Jiraiya, Sanade, to spare me from beating. Did you give me a chance? No, instead you tried to kill me when I was born. Not even 10 minutes after my birth and my own father and mother tried to kill me. This proves that humans are evil and must be controlled, Sanade. As his power started to skyrocket, the atmosphere started to change all over the base as Nata's chakra energy was all over it. The weak shinobi started to faint. The only shinobi standing were Renata Krishna and Jiraiya and Sanade and Kakashi. Nata not wanting Kakashi to suffer knocked out Kakashi along with the weaklings. Sanade then went in for a punch which was caught by Rias who gave her own chakra enhanced punch sending her flying into the wall. Jiraiya then came running in his sage mode as Lucario stopped him and used all spear to put Jiraiya near death. Krishna used the chakra chains but Mew stopped them with his sidekick or her sidekick. Mew then came in front of Krishna. Krishna couldn't hit Mew because it was too cute which gave Rias the perfect opportunity to punch Krishna into Minato who managed to grab her and teleport to a kunai which broke their fall. Nata was then captured by some chakra chains. Got you now say Krishna. Not on your life said Nato as he channeled his Pokemon power and teleported behind her and knocked her out. What was that asked Minato. You shouldn't be able to use chakra. Nato then responded by using his Rinishan gun to place a genjutsu on Minato making Minato live his childhood without giving any important information like his plans to revive Kaguya. Nato and Rias then left to go and meet the Akatsuki. On the way to the main base, Rias was playing with Mew, her favourite Pokemon and Nato laughed. Mew was like their adopted child. Mew loved Nato and Rias and was their pub uh, and was Nato's a uh, personal summon along with Mewtwo who too hated humans. When they arrived, they were informed that all three beasts were extracted without fail and that the rumours of the Kage summon that was going to happen, which interested Nato as he wanted to fight all five Kages and show them their place in the world. But he also felt conflicted. He didn't want to hurt Kakashi, but played it off as it was for his own mother, the mother he would revive, mother that he would destroy the world to get back. Meanwhile, at the One Tails extraction base, the sand team found the retrieval team from Konoha and healed them, while Lady Seo revived Gara, giving him character development once again. The same one in canon. Renata and Krishna were thinking about the mistake how they forced their divine being to hate humans. They were scared. Nato could easily destroy the world if he wanted to. When they arrived at sand, they waited for rookies, sanins and the senseis to wake up. Gara then informed them a day afterwards that he was the new Kazakage and that there will be a 5 Kage summit. So guys, this is the end of part 3. Hope you enjoyed this part. I was kind of tired when recording this. This recording like failed about 3 times so yeah. I uh, hope you like and subscribe. Oh yeah, one more thing. Thanks for 600 subscribers and yeah, I'll be doing a special soon. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z here. And this is part 4 to What If Nato is Kage's son and Neglected. Before we begin, I want to thank you for helping me reach 1000 subscribers and yeah, so basically I'll be doing a 1000 sub special and once I unlock my community tab, I'll be asking you uh, which uh, special you want. Uh, I got a few ideas and yeah, you whichever one gets the most, we will do. Okay, so where we last left off was Naruto beating Mito and nearly killing her but she was healed by Tsunade and Memma getting destroyed by Rias. Gara was captured by Naruto, while the two tails and three tails were captured by the other members. Konoha 11 and the senseis and the Sanin and Naruto's human parents were beaten. So uh, let's begin. At Konoha, time skip a month from what happened in the last part. During the past month, Minato had been had made a new Team 7, which consisted of Menma, Mito and Sasuke led by Krishna. Kakashi had joined a special team with the sole purpose of, of retrieving Naruto, the traitor. The retriever team consisted of Jiraiya, Tsunade and Kakashi. Kakashi on the other hand had grown, he had become one of the new Sanins. He got a cer Cerebus contract and he had um, became one of the strongest Sanins, actually he is the strongest Sanins. He easily beat Jiraiya with his thousand techniques. Also when Naruto knocked out Kakashi, he channeled a bit of his Otsuki chakra into uh, Kakashi's eyes, letting him activate and reactivate the Sharingan. It also gave him uh, the Sharingan in his other normal eye. This pissed off Sasuke to a great degree because he hasn't even unlocked the Sharingan yet, but Anonichiya has unlocked it. Minato was remembering how Wave acted 
when they found out Naruto left, they threw up their alliance contract and said that if our hero Naruto isn't here, then we will charge you extra for trading. He also remembered how Ma and Pa told them about Naruto. They confirmed that Naruto was a god and that he was the son of Kage, the goddess of Chakra. This scared Minato and Krishna who they thought can easily kill them. They then made a decision to try and get him back and treat him good or act like they treat him good so that Menma and Mito won't be attacked and because they need Menma and Mito because they still believe that they are the child of prophecy. Memo then remembered what had transpired a, a few weeks ago. Sasuke tried to go rogue but was stopped by him and it was then that they ha that he had an agreement to train Team 7 but in return Sasuke would swear undying loyalty to the village and there would be a cage bird seal placed on him to prevent this from happening. Otherwise they threatened that they would just kill him and pardon Itachi. Sasuke chose option 1 because he, Krishna, Jiraiya and Tsunade trained him but Kakashi refused saying that he was not going to train a team that did not like Naruto. This got Minato angry. Minato was now getting ready for the Kagi summit. He knew that it was about the trait of Naruto and the Akatsuki. Minato also looked outside and he saw the whole village partying which he drained in sometimes. This was because of Naruto's departure. For the past month there have been parties and they called it the festival of freedom. He also remembered how Hinata hated Naruto. This was due to him being the reason that she was set to be Neji's slave as Neji now became the clan, clan head. Neji was thankful for Naruto because he killed the main branch but he was also mad at Naruto because he killed all of the side branch which was Neji's family. Neji also became Hyuga head and had tortured Hinata for revenge for the side branch but Minato put an end to it, banning Neji from her Inca. Neji then demanded Naruto to be put in the bingo book but Minato refused saying it would look bad on the village and his family but in actuality he was terrified that Naruto could destroy him and the village with ease. Menma wanted to help the village vowed he would bring the demon back for justice and to be used as breeding stock for the Tensigon. Menma wanted Naruto to be punished for Hin Hinata. Mito was ashamed and was regretting her actions. She always read how Yuzumaki cared for her family but she remembered how she treated Naruto like a disease. She also was disgusted by her family now how they saw Naruto as a threat at tool. The good half of Kyuubi which was sealed in her helped convince her that her brother can still be saved and the reason the Kyuubi did that was because he felt that Naruto was related to Hagoromo which he was as he was basically his brother. The Kyuubi then also helped train uh, Mito. Sasuke wants to surpass Naruto find out that Naruto was a god and that all chakra originated from his mother. This pissed him off to a certain degree because Sasuke knew that Naruto could kill Itachi anytime he wanted to. Minato now stood before his gods who were the three new standing which was Kakashi, uh, Jiraiya and Tsunade, Team 7 and Krishna. Now let's skip to the summit. So Raikage why have you called us here? I presume it's because of what happened in the tune exams, Oniki said. Yes, Minato, your son kidnapped the one to his Chinchuriki and drained the Akatsuki while his teammates stole and killed my adopted daughter Yugito, said A releasing his anger. Don't forget my niece, said Mai, as both Minato and Gara stayed silent. I'm also outraged you haven't put a bounty on him. Yeah, just because he's your son does not excuse him. He committed a crime, Minato. He went up against one, or not even one, the three of the villages. Why are you angry, Gara? You've lost your only tailed beast. Your village is now the weakest of the great five nations. And Minato, I heard how you hated Naruto, yet you still let him walk free without a bounty? For what? Yes, to keep your reputation high? I'm enraged as you are, I, but Minato helped me, said Gara. Minato also helped me become hu human, which is why I'm not angry at him right now. I know it's Naruto. Naruto acted to his own accord. You cannot blame Minato, Gara said. Oh, okay then. But Minato, you have stayed awfully silent. Why isn't your traitor's son in the bingo book? It's funny how all the strong Kanoha shinobis become traitor, Madra, Itachi, and let's not forget your son, the biggest threat of them all, he said. My village need to be repaired and we fixed all of the attention on that so we never had enough time to think about Naruto, Minato replied with an excuse. Fine then, I start a boat to add Naruto and his partner Rias to the bingo books as the S-Class Missing Nin, A said. I agree, he hurt my knee, said Mai. He's part of terrorist group, so I agree, said Oniki. Sorry Minato, but your son made his choice. It was a bad choice, Gara said. Don't worry about Gara. I also agree that my traitor's son needs to be added to the bingo book as an S-Class capture on site said Minato. Oh, how cute. Look how popular I am, a voice said. When suddenly they heard, prepare for trouble and make it double to protect the world from devastation. 
team peoples within the nation now to yes team akatsuki will catch you the bid you surrender them now or prepare to fight mew that's right as they saw Rius and Nata come down from the ceiling with Mew in Rius's arms. Ah, oh, how nice. You guys want me that much? Nata said. Oi, Raikage, you're too obsessed with my husband. It's getting annoying, said Rius. Z- Zetsu then came down and says, Nata, Rius, stop acting like idiots. And brother, why did you interrupt them? We were getting the information we needed. Nata then said, it won't be fun that way. And as he tells Rias to take care of the gods as she disappears and attacks the gods. I then charges at... Naruto with his lightning armor as Naruto copies it with his Rinnishiragon and lets I hit him as his barrier protects him. Oniki then uses his dust release but it doesn't even phase Naruto. Then Mai and Garo use a combination attack of Boyo Lava and Sand release as Naruto uses Mewtwo's power to teleport out of the attack range. As Naruto then activates lightning armor and uses a mixture of lightning dust and lava and boyo and sand releases to attack the Kages. As Minato then teleports behind him and slaps on a gravity and movement restriction seal. Rius sees this and loses focus as Raikage charges towards Naruto. Rius is frozen as they see as they as they see this, Kakashi starts performing his hand signs as smoke then comes. When the smoke clears they see a Kakashi with ha- a hand through him in front of Naruto. Naruto's eyes widens. As you then hear Kakashi say, My son, I will always love and support you no matter what path you choose. And Kakashi then dies. Naruto's eyes then start to burn. His eyes then start to fuse. Now he had the Rinnishan gun and the Tensei gun merged in both eyes. In the moon, Kage was shocked to see this never has something like this happen. My son is amazing, she thought. On the Otsuki planet, all Otsuki sensed they chuckle behind anything. Ishiki recognized it and said, My son, so you finally reached your true p- potential. Back on Earth, Naruto's chakra then began to leak as his power skyrocketed. The entire element of nations was covered in a glow as it sensed a huge power. As Naruto's aura started to switch from blue to white, Naruto's power then started to rip holes in the ground as everybody knew it was being sucked into a vacuum created by Naruto's power. As the ground began to rip and head towards the vacuum, the Kagis could only look in fear as they felt a power that surpassed even the Shinigami as Minato thought. Inside the bodies of the Jinchuriki, all tailed beasts felt a familiar just yet different power. The power they sensed dwarfed out of the Sage of the Six paths for the first time they felt fear okay so within the realms of the sage of six paths so little brother you finally wa- awakened what power it surpasses mine mothers and bro- brothers combined so this the power for pure blood said uh the sage as two figures were with him one had long black hair and two rinnegans in his eyes and was dressed in red armor and the other had was also wearing the same red armor but had the senju sign on it these fi- figures were Madra and Hashirama and behind them was Hruzen. So this is the guy who we'll face, Madra said excited. So little did Naruto know the sage had made a deal with the Shinigami after his sons were destroyed that he would train the shin- some shinobis for war that was dead and in return the sage will give his soul to the Shinigami. He then explained to Madra how he was manipulated by Zetsu. Madra calm down, this power as we are now surpasses us, I said Ahashirama, don't forget, he also changed using your memories, Hiruzen then added on. As Hiruzen then thought, Minato Krishna, what kind of monster did you create? Back with Naruto. Naruto vanished with pure speed and appeared in front of the Raikage. His chakra destroying all the sea was Minato placed on him as he jabbed the Raikage with a Chidori straight in the heart killing him as Killer B then screamed out in anger and started to attack Naruto. He just waved him off, sending him flying as Naruto then started to... Oh, ha, you're weak. You just a little hand just and you go flying away. You're just as weak as your brother. You're lucky we don't need you right now as he uses his tensi gun blast to vaporize the eight tails arms that Killabree grew. As Jiraiya then charges at Naruto and says, You will return home and, and help your brothers com- and sisters complete the prophecy. And it's all your fault that Kakashi died. As Naruto then started to get angered. Did you just say it's my fault? No, it's Minato's fault. He's the one who put the seals on me. It's the Raikage's fault. He's the one who jabbed Kakashi. I'll destroy you all, you stupid Kages. As Minato then says, Naruto, Kakashi gave his life for you. Please reconsider. He wouldn't want this. He was tr- uh, Na- Minato said trying to act good in front of all the Kages. Naruto then responds with, Kakashi died because of you. And you expect me to just forgive you? You, the Raikage? 
No, I'll make you suffer. You will live right now, but I'll make sure that you suffer later on. And plus, Kakashi even said that he will support me no matter what. So, yeah. This pissed off me not to a great degree, but it, he hid it. Nata then goes to Kakashi's b b body as he then uses his, his doujutsu to reverse time on Kakashi's body and as Kakashi starts to heal and he then wakes up and says, Nata, how am I alive? This left everyone in shock. They just witnessed Nato bringing someone back to life. Onaki then tries to attack Nato while Nato is helping Kakashi up but Nato just glares like the Jiren glare and sends uh, Onaki flying back. As Nato then starts to explain his birth and how he's the son of Kage and making every Kage fear him. As Jiraiya then shouted, stop this Nato and then summons Ma and Pa and says, if I beat you, you will return quietly. Nato then responds with, you're too weak, but if you can beat my summoning, then we will have a deal. As he then summons Greninja to fight the Toad Sage Beast of Frog, well a Pokemon Frog. Let's see who wins, Nato says. As Dryer then uses his Toad Mouth Trap to trap Greninja as Greninja uses Surf to break out, filling up the Toad's body. As Greninja then uses Water Shuriken to cut Dryer's body, but Dryer just about managed to avoid it avoid it from her d lethally damaging him. Dryer then comes up with three large Rasenguns with Shadow Clones and, and Greninja uses pure speed to avoid avoid the Rasenguns. As then Greninja uses Night Slash to end Dryer but not kill him. You act like you're strong but I guess you're so weak you can't even beat a few summons. Nato then said. Nato it's not too late to change your ways Dryer shouted. As Nadi then yelled out. Don't you have respect for your mother, father, siblings. All you are doing is hurting them. You act like a spoiled brat. Why are you trying to destroy the ninja world? Hmm? Just because you had a bad childhood. I had a bad life. My hu husband or fiancé died. My brother died. You don't see me trying to destroy the world do you? No you just run away from your problems. No I face them head on and I destroy them Nato said. Your grandfather created a flawed system and I will change it for the better. We the Akatsuki will change it for the better. We shall create a better world Nato said as he one punch Sonadi sending her flying. Suddenly a few stone shinobis came running in and said Lord Oniki our Jinchuriki was captured. Oniki was enraged and said so this was your plan to use the Kage meeting as a distraction where you catch my Jinchuriki and Nato said yes our plan worked. While I was here with Rias distracting you, a team of our Akatsuki members went to go and extract the four and five tails. But I'm not gonna lie, this was actually a good opportunity for me to see Kakashi die, help me get a power boost, new eyes and also the ability to reverse time which allowed me to save my dad Kakashi. Let's go Nato then said as they were about to leave, Danzo and his root appeared. Minato, I knew you wouldn't be able to handle this. You let your emotions get in the way. And suddenly a black pool opens up and a man with a shang gun comes and then uses Kamui on the route sending onto a volcano. Minato then yells, what are you doing here? As the masked man then says, I am Madra Uchiha and I have come for my students, Nato and Rias. Nato, I know we hurt you, but you can't seriously be joining the man that was responsible for the Nine Tails attack. Are you mad? Krishna screamed. Nato and Rias just gave her the middle finger and left with the masked man. Minato, your son is going to be added to the bingo book for killing my brother, Killer B said. I agree with Killer B, but we will mark him as the SS class missing nin as he was trained by Madra, Oniki said. Minato then accepted, you little demon, we will now destroy you. You are not going to get in the way of the prophecy. So guys, this is it, part four. Uh, this part was kind of short because my recordings um really like cut off. So yeah, um... Next part, uh, I'll be adding what how they captured the five tails while Nato is there. And thanks for 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, when once I get my uh, community tab, I'll be asking you what you want for the 1K special. I got a few ideas planned out, but whichever one you want, we shall do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. What's up, guys? It's your boy Annie Z here with part five to what if Nato is neglected and Kaguya's son. This is a short part, so there may be a part six uh, earlier than usual. Uh, okay, so let's start off with Nato. Nato and Rias appeared at Akatsuki base as all members were getting ready to extract the four and five tails. Nato then goes and helps with the extraction process as more members make it more faster. Time skip one day. Finally the extraction's done, Rhea said as she hugged Mew. 
Naruto then thinks about how they got the four or five tails flashback to the day before the Kage summit. Naruto, why have you summoned us? asks Pain. I summoned you because I'm telling you that I'm going to the Kage summit, Naruto responded. I like this guy, dear Dora said. Are you mad, Naruto? You're going to attack the Kages for no reason? There is a reason, Pain. While I attack, you and all the Kotsuki members will be going to capture the four and five tails by sending a diversion team to the, the, the members of the village. Because when the Kage summit happens, all of the strongest shinobis will be out with the Kages. And this is what the chance we need to get the four and five tails without heavily damaging our own numbers. Okay, so now we time skip to the day of the event, but we're still in the flashback with the Akatsuki diversion team. Deidara, are you ready? asked Sasori. It's time to create some arts, he said as he sent some clay birds to bomb the stone village. We're under attack, shouted Stone Dream. It's, it's the mad bomber, shouted some of the civilians and tunes as all shinobis charged towards him. Meanwhile, with Obito, Obito appears before Roshi, so you're the one who's been targeting the Jinchurikis. We have a right to live, you know, as Obito then you said surrender, and you won't cause needless destruction. Never shouted Roshi as he charged at him with Taijutsu. Obito used Kamui to become intangible and then used his fire style majestic flame destroyer and burnt the Jinchuriki as he teleported behind and knocked him out. He then teleports the four tailed Jinchuriki to the extraction zone. With pain, there's no protection. I guess Nata's plan worked of using the Kage summit and sending a distraction team to attack the village as he was then met by Han. You got in Roshi but you will never get me. I'm stronger than him. I contain a stronger tailed beast than him as he transforms into his five tail day and then attacks and tries to punch Pain, who uses Shinra Tensei. While Han was off balance from the Shinra Tensei, Pain uses Chibuk Tensei, which is the planetary devastation, and catches the Jinchuriki as he yes, waits for Ob to appear and they go back to base with the five tails Jinchuriki. Flashback end with Naruto. Shadow clones are useful to absorb these pawns, but you have to admit the Akatsuki members did good. Those weak distractions also survived. Rias then came up and hugged Naruto with Mew in between them. Only three left, not including a QB because we have it thanks to you collecting the chakra and me connecting the chakra, she said. Yeah, I can't wait, Naruto replied. Okay, with the Sage of Six pass, I sense war is near. Five of the f nine have been captured while only four remain. But out of the four, they only need three because they already got enough chakra of one of the four. As he looked to Madra with his, who had his running gun with six tomoes in it and Hashirama in Sage Six Paths mode. But with these two, we might stand a chance. However, due to Naruto and his rage boost, he has unlocked a dojutsu that I do not know. He calls it the Kami Gun. And from what I can see, it surpasses all dojutsus that came before it for this age. He then looks to Hiruzen who mastered Ying and Yang release without having a bloodline. Little brother, we both have the same goal, but your ways are different. You wish to control humanity with your power, while I wish to give them freedom and make them understand each other. But you don't understand. I couldn't let the humans die to save you, even if I wanted to, because they are my people, just like how you and your mother is the ones close to you. I know I did bad by using your birth to see away your mother, but we won't be able to do anything if you do not move on, he thought. I know, I will give Memma the word release and I will give Sasuke his Sharon gun and also I will evolve it to the Mangiko stages, the old man thought. Also, I will tell him about where Marjorie's old eyes were. I'm sorry my son's four more vessels but you don't have their power inside of you. So you can't have what power Hashirama and Madra have which is the 6 Tomo Rinnegan and the Sage of 6 Paths mode. It's a good thing I made a deal with the Shinigami do with Kaguya. Naruto, you have done well to lead an attack while fighting my son. You are the most powerful, my son. The eyes you possess now, no one has ever had before. The combination of the two most powerful dojutsus. Don't worry, my son. It won't be any longer now. Soon we will meet face to face in my real body. At Konoha. Minato Krishna, Jiraiya, Sanade, Menma, Mito have all arrived back to the village. Minato was depressed that his son had killed the Raikage, which made it look bad for Konoha. Also, his son was now in the bingo books. This was bad. He was scared for the fate of the world, for the fate of his children, and what this god can do. So he ordered No Leaf Shinobi to fight Naruto. He didn't want to bring down Naruto's wrath on the village. Little did he know he already did that. Minato then arrived home when he saw 
Memma me too and Krishna dry and snarly waiting for him. Sensei, what's going on? asked Minato. Minato, we're going to meet the elder toad because he wants to meet the child of prophecy. What now? said Minato. Yes, hurry up. We have to go now. Okay, so now they teleport to the toad mountain. Lord Elder Toad, you summoned us? asked Jiraiya. Yes, I sent something wrong with the prophecy. Please present him to me now. Mamma Amito stepped up. Is this a joke? I said a child of prophecy, said the toad. But you said he would have blue eyes and blonde hair, said Jiraiya. I said white hair, pale white skin and horns, Jiraiya. These people are not the child of prophecy. No matter how much you want to make them, they are not the child. Minato, do you have another child? asked the elder. Well, yes, but... I said, do you have another child? Yes or no? No buts. Answer me now. Yes, yes, my lord, said Minato. What is his name? Naruto replied Minato. Ha ha ha, you just made a mistake. We're all doomed. What, said Minato? Let me explain. You see, chakra originates from a fruit which was created by Kaguya who ate it, which made her become the goddess of chakra. She had two sons, were they human, Homura and his brother Hagoromo, the sage of six paths. We know Nato told us this. Let me continue on, I'm sure he missed some details or never explained the whole story. You see, Kaguya went mad and wanted to control the world, so both Hagoromo and Homura teamed up and decided to fight her. But before the fight, another member of the Otsuki clan came. This was Kage's husband. They shared a night together and little did they know that she would get pregnant. Then came the day of fighting, where both Homura and Hagoromo decided to use Kage's pregnancy as she was weak to seal her, which worked. But due to this, Naruto's chakra slipped out and went into Krishna and started to form an Otsuki body, which made her a vessel to give birth to Naruto. Now Minato, what is the child doing right now? He's part of a terrorist group. They are going to capture the nine-tailed beast, said Minato. Oh God, if he achieves that, the world truly is doomed. He plans on using the tail beast to recreate the uh, ten tails, which is a being of mass destruction, but that's not the bad part. He then plans to unseal his mother, Kaguya. This must be stopped, Minato. She is evil, said the toad fearfully. Minato, we will start training Mito in sage mode as she got the nine-tailed chakra and it will be more beneficial for her. We need to stop Naruto from reviving his mother. But we can't kill him because if we kill him, it will start a war with the Otsukis. A war we cannot be win. A war we cannot win. Also, what does he call himself now? Asked the elders. He calls himself Otsuki, said Minato. Oh dear God, he knows of his heritage. You know, Otsukis aren't called gods for nothing. They can destroy worlds without training. But this Naruto, I sense that he will be the most dangerous. He has actually trained. More than any other Otsuki, even Hagoromo, the sage of six paths, will be nothing compared to him. Every living thing will fear him, said the elder fearfully. Mito and Memo were scared. This godlike being was after them for the tailed beast and they could die if the tailed beast was extracted from them. Krishna and Minato were also scared. Their children were going to die to this god, this god that they neglected. Jiraiya and Sanade were thinking on how to make Nato join them. The elder then told them that they can leave. With Rias, Rias was hunting the six tails when she was attacked by Orochimaru. Hello beautiful, your eyes look amazing, said Orochimaru as Kabuto then came out. Oh look, it's the Peter Snake and his boyfriend. Oh, you think you'll get me? Don't make me laugh, she said. Let's see how strong you truly are, Rias Chan, he said. Orochimaru then summons Manda. Manda attack, he yelled, as he and Kabuto ran towards Rias. Rias used the Shinra Tensei, dispelling Manda. Rias then saw Orochimaru coming towards her, as she then countered with her all killing Ashburn, killing him instantly. Kabuto seeing his master dead fled. Oh ho ho, he was just all talk, unlike Naruto can, she said, and getting back on the six tails trail and catching it. With Naruto, Naruto was looking for his target, Fu, the seven tails. He saw her being beaten up. Feeling sorry, he Shinra Tensei, the ninja who were attacking her. He was about to get her but then spotted Jiraiya and Snadi coming in the direction. Not wanting to get them on him, he put up a genjutsu and went to Fu. He then later on befriended Fu, who he realised was exactly like himself, hated for being a demon, which she wasn't, and hated by the humans. She also hated humans. Naruto then spent a few days with her. In those few days, he became like an older brother to her and she always hugged and stayed with him. He then remembered how one day they were walking and Fu was ambushed by villagers, calling her a demon. This caused Naruto to remember 
how he was treated by the villagers of Kanoha and he erased all of the villagers and also erased anyone that was nearby his memories apart from Fu's. After that he remembered how Fu was the only one apart from Kakashi and Kage to treat him good and she was one of two humans that treated him like an actual living being. It hurt knowing that she would be sacrificed for the greater good and reviving his mother. Inside Naruto, Kage was watching. She felt sad for the Fu and also for Naruto. This would be the first time Naruto would have to kill a person he cared about. She also grew attached to Fu as she saw her as somewhat of a daughter. She also got more pissed off at the humans for using an innocent soul as a sacrifice to seal away the demons. She also saw that Fu only knew the basics and was harassed by older men trying to tame the demon as they said but luckily Fu managed to survive. One day she was close to being tamed but Naruto saved her and Kaguya made her appearance to Fu. What Fu said next made her regret having to get her killed. She called Kaguya mother because she said that if Kaguya was Naruto's mother then she is her mother as well. Naruto was now called into his mindscape by Kaguya. Mom, what's up? He said. Naruto, are you really going to kill her? Asked Kaguya. For you, mom, I could do anything, even if it means sacrificing my own sister. Also, it'll be for the good. She won't be tortured because by living here, she's getting tortured. The village makes her suffer for something she never did. Naruto, Naruto, I want you to do what you want. It doesn't matter about revive me. Just make sure you're happy. But mom, I want both of you. I want my adopted sister through and I want you, my mother. He said. Hmm, that can't be wait a minute. I know, the Rinne rebirth, she said. But wouldn't that kill me, he said. No, only humans die when using that. But our god chakra allows us to live, she said. Would be as she had found the six tails after it had been killed during the war. The six tails formed and attacked Rias, who simply dodged and used Shinra Tensei. How do your father's eyes, it yelled. Father's eyes, are you mad? The Rinne gun doesn't belong to Nartokun's brother. It belongs to the Otsukis. She then sealed the beast away. She then teleports to Naruto. When she got there, she saw him playing with the target. Waiting for Fu to leave, she then asks, what is he doing? Naruto then explains to her about the plan to uh, revive Fu after extracting the tail beast from her. At the village, Minato had finished making a retrieval team for a retrieval team for Naruto, who he knew was going to attack the waterfall village soon because it had the seven tails, and the six tails was just captured. Menma, Mito, Jiraiya, Sanade, Kakashi, Krishna, and himself were on the team. He managed to convince Konoha that Naruto was needed, and that, that he had so much power that could benefit them. But in reality, he hoped to make Naruto fulfill the prophecy to benefit Konoha. Memma and Sasuke had unlocked wood release and the Mangiko Sharingan when they were met by the Sage of Six Pass. While Mito had learned to access KCM, Memma's half of the QB was sealed into Mito because the wood release suppressed the QB, making it useless for Memma to be a Jinchuriki. Team 7 had really become powerful. They were on high Kage level, but Minato knew that Naruto surpassed that even the power of high Kage years ago. So guys, this is part 5. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Anizi back at it with part 6 of what if Naruto was neglected and Kage son. So where we last left off was at Naruto befriending Fu and making a plan to extract the Seven Tails without killing her. Also, Rias managed to capture the six tails who reformed. So let's get on with part six. Fu was walking with her brother Naruto and with her sister Rias. Naruto had told her to stay as low as today they were going to go to the Akatsuki base so that they can extract the seven tails. At first, she felt betrayed, but when Naruto told her that he would revive her and make sure that nothing happens to her, she was relieved. She always hated the seven tails because it was always trying to possess her. They then saw some gathering and saw it was the Naruto retrieval team as Naruto told Fu to meet them at night near the waterfall as both Rias and Naruto disappeared before Konoha can spot them. Konoha came to Fu and Memma and Mito arrogantly walked up to her and said, So you're the seven tail, hmm, you look weak. Pissing off Fu as she replied, at least I'm not the weakest of my family. I heard that Naruto fella destroyed 
all of you without even trying. And if I was Nata's sister, I bet that he would have stayed pissing off Memma and Mito, but more Mito because this bitch has said that she would make a better sister. Oh really, your whole village hates you, Mito responded, causing Fu to flinch. That's right, can't speak now. Back with Nato. Rius, have you got in contact with that Ro Otsuki that I spotted? The one with the Tensei gun? No, but I can confirm his identity is Tonori, said Rius. After all this is done, I want you to go and get him and find out if he's affected the plan. If he is, turn him into a chakra fruit so I can eat him. Cool, said Rius as she was resting her head on Arnato. What's the plan for getting Fu out of the village? Okay, so I can confirm that she has the night gods. So, when we meet at the waterfall, use Shinra Tensei blasting the guards away and I'll fly her to the base while I go. Or, actually, you could even take her to the base. It just depends on the situation. And while I go and take on the guards, I'll give the signal for Obito to come and get me out. Uh, I wanted to have some fun. I like the first plan where you go and take her and I uh, fight the guards. Not now, yes, we need to be careful more than ever, said uh, Zetsu, popping out of nowhere. Brother, I found the sage's dead body in the temple as you asked. What should I do with it? Good. Prepare to retrieve his winning gun and then we will implant him through when we revive her. As you wish. So, brother Hagoromo, I guess that you can still be useful to us, said Nato. Yes, I want that Otsuki found after the mission. Also, I want you to send word to Father Ishiki that you have found me and I am currently occupied. Also, I need to speak with you about a vision I saw later on. Okay, I'll send word and I'll remind you, said Rius. Good. Anyways, let's rest, said Nato. At night, Fu was currently running from her guards as she was being chased. She had to spend the time with Leaf instead of her brother, which pissed her off. First being Menma, that bastard was always saying, oh, how he's better than her and her brother and that he's still the child of prophecy and that the old sage was wrong and he's probably drunk. And also, Mito has developed a some sort of a brother complex, swearing that she'll get her Naruto back and to kill the whore that stole him from her. Finally, Sasuke was trying to get in her pants and trying to revive the so-called strongest clan that was wiped out by one guy. Fu was then stopped by Jiraiya and Sanadi. Where do you think you're going, Jinchuriki? You are to remain in your safe hold, said Sanadi. No, I'm not, and you can't make me, said Fu. Why you, said Jiraiya. Suddenly a boom was heard as Rias grabbed Fu and disappeared. So Nata, you're here, said Jiraiya. Oh look, it's the toad son. I guess you're a failure and that you can't protect Fu. Why you, said Memma popping out of nowhere and using wood style to hold Nata as Asuke then sent a, a Susano fist to him. Nata then used his Kami gun and said, Kami gun time decay making the roots decay and then used Shinra Tensei to blow back Sasuke. Mito came with KCM1. I will get you back, Nato, she charged, to which Nato just unsealed the sword and started to absorb her nine tails chakra. Summoning Jutsu said the uh, two sonin as both Katsuyu and Gamma Bunta appeared, attacking Nato, who simply said, Rene time excel, using his uh, Kamigan, forcing the summons to use up chakra and dispel. He then teleported behind Jiraiya and Tsunade, knocking them out. Seeing everyone's knocked out, he was about to leave but was then caught by some chains. He then saw Krishna as he turned around. Give up son, we're taking you back, Statibani said. Uh, Krishna, son, since when was I your son? I have mother Kagya, the goddess of all chakra, not a failure of a Yuzumaki as my mother. A failure of a Yuzumaki who even neglects and treats her own children poorly. How the clan will be disappointed in you. Or killing Ashburn, he shouted, turning her chains into ash. I've taken your bloodline from you, Krishna, he said. As he was about to leave, a flash was seen and stood before him was Minato Namikaze, who just tried to take him out with a flying thunder god and Rasengan, but Nato countered by stopping time and slashing him, leaving Minato near death. Nato then teleported away. Arriving at the Akatsuki base, Nato explained the plan of how they were going to extract the Jinchuriki's Beiju which was Fu, and everybody went along with it not to anger Naruto. So the Seven Tails had finished being extracted from Fu, who was just laying there dead as Naruto placed his hand on her and said, Kamigan, win a rebirth to bring her back to life. Fu then latched onto him and hugged him as both Rias and Naruto took her to her room in the Akatsuki base. 
Zetsu then came in with the Sage of Six Pass Rinnegan. Nata bang it, he said. Good. Implant it into her while she's knocked out, he said, as they implanted the eyes into Fu. When Fu awoke, she felt different. Her vision was more clear. What happened? asked Fu to Nata. Nata explained everything to her. So Fu, we will now be training you in using your running gun for the next month because Akuma and the whole lightning country are under lockdown. Time skip a month. A lot has happened this month. Menma was accused of attacking the Raikage and was sent to blood prison. But it was turned out that it was actually a secret alliance between the cloud and leaf due to the fact there was a demon called Satori threatening the world. The alliance, knowing that Menma had the Mokuten, aka the wood release, relied on Menma stopping the demon as Killer B needed to stay in Kuma or he could be captured. The next event to occur following the blood prison event was that the demon Moru had appeared in the demon country. This caused Leaf to send out a team to protect Shinon, a priestess that could seal her, that could seal the demon away. In the end, the mission was somewhat successful, but Shinon was sacrificed to seal it away. Another event that occurred was Sasuke going on to face Orochimaru, who he killed. This caused Kabuto to flee and come and join the Akatsuki. However, Naruto warned Obito about his vision where he saw Madra fighting against the Akatsuki. He also convinced Obito to side with him as Zetsu promised him a happy world with Rin revived, to which Obito just agreed. The final event to happen was Naruto's new team member Tonri. Rhea set off to find the rogue Otsuki as her prince commanded but when she did find him, she gave him the order to submit. He refused at first. But with a little persuasion and a gift, the background from Hanabi Huga and also the promise that Tonri would get Hinita as a wife, no matter what Hinita said, Tonri, Tonri agreed to join. Naruto was smirking when he offered Hinita because he knew that it would be the perfect revenge against Memma. Tonri also put now possessed the Renegon by taking Hanabi's eyes. Team Naruto was looking powerful, two Renegon users that were recent food. A Tensegon user, Tonri, and the Kamigon user, Naruto, and when Kaguya was revived, they would have a Rinisharigon user. Naruto also did the blood ritual on Fu, turning her into a half blooded Osuki, but she looked mostly human. Fu had also gained the six path mode which Naruto had in canon and had the Rinnegan, which she, she was basically a combination of Kanan Naruto and Sasuke accessing their six path power, as Fu had six a truth seeking orbs and running gun with purple chakra cloak but looked completely human. She also was let in on the plan, the full plan of reviving Kaguya which she agreed was for the best after how she was treated. She also wanted to destroy her village as revenge. Naruto had trained Fu over the month and she had mastered most of the running gun abilities and they discovered that Fu's running gun ability was to create and destroy matter but only Otsuki chakra was immune to it. With this, Fu can create and destroy anything apart from Otsuki's. She also learned several high level jutsus and five jutsus for each element that were Madras level. She also gained the blood release which was basically blood bending from Avatar. So now Akatsuki was preparing, they had confirmed that a 5 Kage summit was happening and this is where they would give the village an opportunity to surrender the Jinchuriki or face wolf. With the Sage of Six Paths, Madra, Hashirama and Huzen, you three have done well and the master training I gave you in such a short time. The time for your reappearance in the world grows near. I sense a war coming for my Biju children will start soon, however, you can only join them when the Jubi is resurrected as that was a deal I made with the Shinigami. Also, I may also be allowed to join if everything goes to plan, but knowing my brother, it probably won't. I believe that you can do this. You can show my brother the errors of his ways. Yes sir, said Hashirama. Hm, I won't let that child beat me, said Madra. Minato can fail this son. I will make this right, said Huruzen. Okay, so now we go to the five Kage summit. The Kages were discussing the problems that that was going on. There were only two bridges remaining and Akatsuki hasn't even lost a single member yet. They were also discussing the biggest threat, Naruto, who single-handedly made the Akatsuki win all their battles. They had come to the conclusion that they must hide Menma, Mito and Killer B. Suddenly, a black portal opened up. Akatsuki, surrender yourself, shouted the Raikage, seeing all members of the Akatsuki standing right in front of him. The five Kage guards went to attack, 
but were quickly restrained and knocked out. So the little pest tried to attack us, said Naruto. Naruto, what are you doing here? asked Minato. Five Kages, you have a week to hand over your Jinchuro keys, said Obito. Well, as the five Kages knew him as Madra, or the fake Madra, or the man with many names. Never, we will never submit to terrorists like you, shouted all the Kages. Well then, I guess you leave us no choice. I hereby declare the fourth great shinobi war, said Naruto. So guys, this was part six of what if Naruto was neglected and Kaguya's son. Our next part will be when uh, the war arc begins, one of my favorite arcs. So yeah, and yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Thanks. Bye. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z here, back at it with the final part to what if Naruto was Kaguya's son and neglected. The last time we left off with Akatsuki declaring war on the Great Five Nations. So we start off back in the base with Naruto. Naruto, you will attack the Kages while me, Obito, will attack the Eight Tails and the Nine Tails, Payne said. Forget the Nine Tails, I got 97% of its chakra in the sword, Naruto said, pulling out the sword. Okay, Payne said. Wait, take Tonori with you, Naruto said, as he remembered ordering Tonori to kill Payne if Payne changed sides. Naruto threw and Rias teleport to the battlefield with thousands of Zetsu clones with them. The Zetsus then start fighting the Shinobi. Suddenly, Tsunade dry up and a revived Orochimaru come forth. Naruto will stop you as the three Sanins are reunited, Jiraiya said. Hmm. Do you think a Jinchuriki would betray her village and side with the madman, Tsunade said. Oh, please don't mind my teammates and don't need me in with them. I'm only working with them to save my own life and the human race, Orochimaru said, ashamed. As they all summoned their summons, which attacked Team Naruto. Through Naruto and Rias grew bored and then just grew bones out of their hands and jabbed it into the summons, all killing Ashburn, they shouted, ending the old generation of the summons. Wanda, Katsura and Gamabunta were dead. Suddenly, the summons were burned back by Naruto Shinra Tensei. While that was happening, pain was hovering over the cloud village. This village shall know pain. Shinra Tensei, he yelled, destroying it and killing all of the Shinobi Alliance stationed there. He then hovered to where the eight and nine tails were. Tonri followed him invisible, which was one of his Tenzigan abilities. Pain then spotted the Jinchuriki. Surrender yourself and your deaths will be painless, Pain said as all of his paths surrounded them. Meter and Killer B took a fighting stance. Yo, yo, how about no, Killer B said. No, I won't be giving up, Meter said, activating casing one. Oh, so you can control the Nitos now, Pain said. As Killer B transformed into Guki and went to punch Pain. He used Shinra Tensei to send them flying back. Mita then charged up Pain only to see a pool open up and she was back in Neath. Mita, what are you doing back here? Uh, you were meant to be with Killer B, asked Kushna. As Mita then explained. They, they separated you. Why? I thought they needed you, Kushna said. I didn't know, mum. It's scary, said Mita as she heard the voice. The boy absorbed my chakra during the tuning exams, you stupid little girl, the fox said. Uh, ma'am, uh, Fluffy has told me that uh, Naruto absorbed his chakra, uh, Mita said. What? We need to inform the others, said Kushner. Meanwhile, with Pain, Pain had finished knocking Killer B out and using planetary devastation to seal him away. Summoning Art, Juby Husk, he said, as he summoned the Tentos and put the Eight Tails into it. As he was about to turn around, he was stabbed by Killer B's sword. Turning around, he saw Orbiter. Madra, why? Pain said, as Orbiter just ripped out his eyes and placed it in his eyes. Zetsu then appeared and said, Let's go to our chosen place. There we shall lay waste to this land and achieve internal peace. Also, the sword is there so you could put the Nine Toes Chakra into it and finally become the Ten Toes Jinchuriki. Fine, I guess patience is key then, said Obito. At the Sixth Pass Realm, prepare yourself, Hashirama Madra, who is the reappearance in the world is near, as the Shinobi then start to warm up. With Naruto, Naruto, surrender or lessen your sentence, son. I'm sorry for how I treated you, Naruto said. Give up or rather die than letting my goals be unachieved. I'm nearly done with them as well, Naruto said. Fine, I'll beat some sense into you, you brat, Minato said as the five cargoes charge towards him. Minato teleports to him and hits him with a Rasengan. Minato's barrier protects him as Minato vanishes and he sees the right Kage in his lightning armor surrounded with lava and sun with a particle style beam circling around him, coming straight for him. Naruto lets it connect but was not even damaged. Damn, that parry's a cheat, said Mai. Suddenly, Rias and Fu grab Minato and I as Naruto grabs Onaki and pulls Mai towards him. This is the Kage, weak, Naruto said. As the team then throws the Kage into the air and Naruto uses planetary devastation to seal them away. Zetsu then appears and said, Brother, it's time. As they teleport to the chosen battlefield, we see Obito putting this chakra of the Nine Tails into the statue. S suddenly the Ten Tails statue starts to scream as it is reawakened as the Ten Tails. Obito, start absorbing, we'll protect you, said Zetsu. 
As Naruto looks out, he sees Gamakichi, Aoda, and a slug called Hikari coming for him. When Stao, Rasengan, Shuriken, Blaze Stao, system of flame control, he heard Memma and Sasuke yell as a flame came towards them with the wind uh, Shuriken in front of it. Naruto then summons Kaioga. Kaioga uses origin force on that flames, which Kaioga does, putting out the weak flames, and the stream of water hit the summons, dispelling all of them. Damn, those pick ones are so strong, said Memma. We might not win, Memma, Mita said. Hmm, we'll beat him. We'll use teamwork, said Sasuke, or die trying. Now on the battlefield, we see Sasuke, Memma, and Mita standing before Naruto. So the insects have arrived, Naruto said. Naruto needs to stop this. We'll destroy the balance of the world. Not only that, you'll destroy the whole world, Mita said. Why? Why should I stop? I'm a god. I'm so close to my goals. Why should I listen to a little human like you? Naruto said. I will let you destroy this world for selfish reasons, Naruto. As the next Hokage, I will kill you, Menma said. Oh ho, and how do you plan on doing that? With your weak wood release? You're not the first Hokage. You can't even use its power to the fullest, Naruto said. Teamwork, Naruto. That's how we do it, Sasuke said. Oh, the emo of all people preach about teamwork. Don't worry, I won't kill you. I'll keep you alive to witness the beauty of the new world that me and my mother will create. My mother will be the queen of the world and I will be the prince of the world. But I will become king of this world, Naruto said. Susanoo, Sasuke shouted, creating a full body Susanoo and combining it with the snake's age me and punching Naruto. Shinra Tensei, Naruto said, blowing it all back. Woodstyle, 100 armed cannon, Memma said, as a thousand armed wood statue surrounded him. Kurama, let's do this, Mito shouted, as Kuruma's chakra started form around her, creating an avatar of the Nine Tails. Whoa, Mito, when could you do that, Memma asked. When I train with Beast Sensei, Mito said. Oh, so you can control the beast now. No matter, you won't be able to hurt me, Naruto said. Let me show you true power, Naruto said, as the sky became black. How, how is this possible? How does he have so much power? No matter what we do, he's always ahead of us, Sasuke said. He has the power to create peace, but instead he uses it to destroy humans. Or to revive his stupid mother, Mama said. Never talk shit about my mother, you stupid insolent human. She's much better than Krishna Uzuma, and more important, she's more better than this entire stupid lower realm, Naruto said. As the meter that covered the battlefield fell, but unlike Marjorie's, this one had fire on it as well, so it would actually burn and destroy everything in sight. Sage mode both, Memma and Mita said, accessing the Toledo slug sage mode and combining it with his wood release while Mita combined it with the Ninetales chakra mode. Wood style, Rasen Shuriken, Memma yelled, throwing it at the meteor. Susano blaze control Shidori. Sage out, super tailed beast Rasen Shuriken, Mita yelled, throwing it at the meteor. There was a beam struggle as the meteor finally pushed the jutsu back as Mito, Memma and Sasuke braced themselves for death. Shinra Tensei, a wave yelled, pushing the meteor back. Truth seeking orbs yelled another, destroying the meteor. Memma, Mito and Sasuke slowly opened their eyes to see the third Okage in front of them. Are you okay? The third Okage asked. Yeah, are you the one that saved us? said Mito. No, it was them, Hiruza said, pointing towards Madra and Hashirama. The first Okage, Memma yelled. Is that Madra Chia? I thought he was with Naruto, said Sas, as Huzun explained everything to them. Oh, you mean Hagoroma, that traitorous half-breed who sacrificed me and betrayed his own family. That filthy half-breed corrupted by human blood. Yes, I'll destroy all he created. Humans don't deserve power, they never did, and that's why they acquired it through artificial means. I will purge it from the humans. I won't let my clan's power be used by these insolent human beings, Naruto said. So you're blinded by your hatred that you think all human beings are scumbags, Madra said. Every human I've encountered was scumbags, Naruto said. You're judging a whole race based on a few people, Hashirama said. Just like how you humans judge me based on my appearance, declaring me a demon instantly. How did that work out? It turned out I was actually a god, Naruto said. Enough, Madra shouted, rushing towards Naruto with Hashirama following as they start to engage Naruto in Taijutsu. Naruto had the advantage as he started taking them on. Is this the power of the strongest humans? Truly pathetic. And you use my racist powers so disgracefully. Shinra Tensei Naruto yelled. Truth seeking orbs Hashirama yelled. How dare you use Otsuki Chakra, you disgusting human swine. Naruto yelled in rage. Woodstar Woodbines Menma yelled. Restrain Naruto while he was distracted. Amaterasu Sasuke yelled, burning Naruto. Pijudama Mito yelled, firing it towards Naruto. Rene Time Excel Naruto yelled as the wood started to decay and the fire burnt out as Naruto made the fire increase in time past 7 days so it can't burn anymore. Naruto then absorbed the Bijudama. It's worthless, you all are truly weak. Hashirama, Madra, the great Ishinobi, Memma Mita, the children of the fourth Hakage, and Sasuke Uchiha, the last Uchiha. All of you are weak. You can't even beat the one failure of Leaf as you called me, right? Now look at you, on the ground all tired and beaten up, Naruto said. Kurama, let's do this, Mito yelled. Are you sure, Mito? If you do this, you truly die. The nuclear fusion would surely kill you. 
and it will kill you slowly as well, Kurama said. Let's do this, Mito said, stealing her resolve. Fine, Kurama said tearfully, as Mito started to power up her chakra matching Naruto's. What? What is this? Naruto asked. When did Mito have this kind of power, Mema yelled. Impossible, she wasn't gifted by the sage, and yet she has this kind of power, power that surpasses me, Sasuke said. Mito rushes towards Naruto, punching and breaking his barrier. Is this pain? I haven't felt pain in years, Naruto asked, forgetting the feeling of pain. So this is what pain feels like, fight me, Naruto said with excitement as they start to engage in taijutsu with Naruto barely being in advantage. I guess you're still weak, Naruto said. No, I won't lose, Mito said, opening the first gate as she started to overpower Naruto. What? How? How is this possible, Naruto demanded. Simple, Nichan. When you have something you want to protect, you're willing to give up your own life to save it. I will save this world from you, even if it means dying. As she repetitively kicked Naruto and punched him drawing blood. Wow, Mito's winning, Menma said. I know I have eyes, Sasuke said. This shinobi truly does possess the will of fire, Hashirama said. How? Oh, how is that Kunichi pushing him back when we can't? Is this the will of fire? Manjo said. Krishna, Dry, and Sanade and Minato teleported to the location and saw Mito fighting Naruto and beating him down. They were amazed they were proud of their daughter. They then asked what happened as Marja and Hashirama then explained everything. No, I can't lose after coming so far. I will free mother and see her once again, Naruto said. As Kage's words from training echoed in his head. When you need the power the most and Otsuki will unlock their unique ability. No, I won't lose. I refuse to lose, Naruto yelled as he searched deep within himself and he found a small untouched part of his power. He then started to put on his power as a blue silvish aura surrounded him and created the shape of a galaxy and was going back into him. His hair suddenly became silver, more silver, more of a shiny silver than his original silver colour. His muscle size increased by two times, his eyes turned silver and his chakra level rose by 150 times. As Mito charged towards him, he unconsciously dodged an attack. When Mito threw a punch, he dodged and hit her back, sending her flying back. He then knocked her out, ending the battle. That was good, but not good enough, Naruto said, as he used rain time in his body healing him and restoring his barrier. Mito was about to say something, when suddenly the Jubi was absorbed into Obito, as Zetsu then latched onto Obito and stabbed him. Then Obito was getting taken over by a female. This was Kage Otsuki. Naruto let out a few tears as he teleported to his mother and hugged her. I missed you, mum, Naruto said. I missed you too, my adorable little son, Kage said, as Rias then came and said it's nice to meet your mother-in-law and Queen of Otsukis as she said bowing down. Ah, my beautiful daughter-in-law, nice to meet you as well, Kage said. And Afu shyly came up and said, hi mother. Ah, Afu, there's no need to be scared. Not to do the blood ritual on you, which makes you my daughter as well, and I can never hurt someone as innocent as you, Kage said. As she looked down towards the defeated Shinobi, Naruto, it's time to take away the chakra, protect me while I commence with the hand signs, she said. This time Kage did not need to turn them into Zetsus as Ishiki wasn't after her. Let's go to the Shinobi's point of view. All of the Shinobi never felt such a powerful aura, which surpassed both Naruto and Mito's and Rias and Fu's combined. But this was Kage suppressed. We, we can't win, said the Shinobi as all of them started giving up. That's right. Now he's giving me back my chakra, Kage said. Suddenly a white light appeared and out came Hagurama, the Sage of Six Paths. Hello mother, nice to meet you. And it's finally nice to meet you as well, little brother, Hagurama said. Hagurama, Kage said with anger. What are you doing here? I made a deal with the Shinigami, I'll seal all of you away and then my soul will belong to him, Hagurumi said. So you're my dirty traitorous brother, the one who would rather kill an unborn for no reason at all, Naruto said. I did what I had to for the sake of humans, Hagurumi said. And I'll do what I have to for my family's stupid half-breed scum. How dare you talk to your, your prince like that in such a manner. As we speak, father is sending his forces out to conquer this planet, Naruto said. I won't let you win, little brother, Hagurumi said fighting Naruto. Naruto was clearly the superior fighter. Using his ultra instinct, he was able to dodge all of Hagoroma's attack and also beat the shit out of him. Let's see how you like being sealed away, Naruto said to a downed Hagoroma as he started to absorb Hagoroma's chakra into himself and then used planetary devastation to seal Hagoroma away. Kage then finished the hand signs, reversing the jutsu that Hagoroma has used to share her chakra with all of the humans. Instead, it reversed it. All chakra has been ripped out of the humans. After a few days, all humans lost their chakra. Humans give up, you have no power left, Naruto said. Never, they said, as several high chakra levels appeared, and one was a massive chakra. Out came Ishiki and a army of thousand Otsukis. Daddy, Naruto said, as he hugged Ishiki. Naruto, my son, look how powerful you are, Ishiki said proud, as Kage and Naruto then explained what happened. This enraged Ishiki, but he let himself calm down. 
Now, to what is it that you wish to happen to this planet as retribution to what it did to you, Ishikios? Daddy, I wish to rule this planet as training for when I become king, Naruto said. So be it, Ishiki said, commanding his forces to conquer this world. They killed all who opposed them, apart from Leaf, as Naruto ordered them to be left alive. We now see Naruto walking in his castle in the upper district of Leaf. Actually, it was his district because he destroyed the upper district and made it all into his castle. We then see Naruto with Otsuki guards beating the shit out of Leaf's citizens. Naruto just laughing at them. So you were the people that hit the prince when he was minor, the guard said. Look at you, so weak and pathetic, dirty human beings, said another. It's all good, my guards are making sure that they know their place and they can't eat like I could do. They're getting charged extra, like 200 times the price to get a piece of bread. They're getting a daily beating like I did and they have no houses, only I do and also father Kakashi who stays with us, Naruto said. So son, why are you so happy today, Kage said. Well tomorrow, Hinita is giving birth to my little brother men my son but i'm going to put mine in tonari's plan in action i'm going to execute the child and declare hinata as tonari's wife Nata said snickering that's my boy kaguya said hinata gave birth to men my son Boruto. the namikazes were so happy when they were going home they saw a crowd of guards gathered within the whole lower district of the village they rushed there to see what's going on and they see a guard pull hinata and a baby and take her to the stage People of the shitty village of Leaf, it seems that one of you have committed treason by sleeping with one of your lord's wife. This is Hinata Hugo, and she was destined to marry Tonori, my friend, and one of the lords of this world. But she had an affair with Memma Namikaze, so as such I will execute this dirty spawn of a child as payment to Tonori, and I will also give Hinata to him right now, Nato said. No, Nato, please, not my son and wife, Memma said. Nisan, please, Mito yelled. Nato, I know we did you wrong, but please, it's an infant, Krishna said. Please, Nato, I'll give my life. Don't do this, Nato said. <laughs> you expect me to show mercy to those who tried to kill an infant when he was born? That's exactly what you did to me, Krishna, you stupid little bitch. And Nato, your life won't bring as much despair as seeing your grandson die. It'll be fun, won't it, to see you all in despair. And Memma, she's not your wife, she's Tonri. And finally, Mito, be lucky that he's been a time to heal you. You'd have died using the Kubi's chakra like that, not to say stabbing the child laughing up. And then Tonri took his wife. No! Memma screamed, charging towards Nato but was stopped by the guards. Nato then proceeded to beat the shit out of Memma as he was crying for his wife. Nato then went home. Time skip a few years, we see Nato getting crowned king and then he goes to his room as he is kissed by his wife Rias. After the ceremony, we see Nato lying down with Rias, who is staring at her husband. So it's finally over, your mother's arrived, your revenge is done and you're the king and I'm the queen, Ria said. Yes, now how about we make an heir, Naruto said. Yes, let's do it, Ria said blushing as they proceeded. Time skip three years, we now see a little girl running to her dad. She was a little princess. Ah, uh, Akino, what do you want, Naruto asked. I want to know how you freed grandma from the evil humans and took control of the planet, she said. Naruto sighed as he took Akino in his lap with Rias hugging him and said, So the story starts with. So guys, there we have it, the final part of the series. Hope you enjoyed this series and yeah, sorry it took a little long. And one more thing guys, if you want me to make a epilogue to this, so I just explain what happened to Leaf and the other villages and how um, Naruto is after this, let me know down below. But don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Bye.